Hurken ook het trap sans 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 Ultimate Fighter winner, now he's an actor, singer, dancer, future Chippendale, Rashad Evans, man, how are you? <laughs> I'm alright, man, you added a lot of shit on there that wasn't part of the script that I gave you, but... No, <laughs> uh, first I want to thank our sponsor, Speedweed, listen people, marijuana is legal in California, and there's no reason you have to leave your house to get it. No, we will deliver it to you. Speedweed.com. They got flour. They got edibles. They got vapes. They got pens. They even have marijuana sex lube. You can put on a girl's vagina. Has her feeling great all night long. Okay. I have not used it because my wife is pregnant and I want my kid coming out all weird. But uh, who knows? Maybe this, maybe it works. So go to Speedweed.com to say MMA Roasted. You get $10 off, $100 or less. I'm telling you, Speedweed.com is the greatest thing in the world. Definitely check it out. Also... For hymns, people. Listen, sexual performance issues. More common than you think. I know Rashad struggles from that a lot. Uh, over 25% of new ED cases are guys under the age of 40. You're okay, you're 60. Listen, 40% of men age 40 struggle from not being able to get and maintain an erection. I know uh, a lot of times you just can't get it up. So why do guys turn to weird solutions or do nothing when they can turn to science and medicine? Go to 4hims.com, a one-stop shop for hair loss, which I need, skin care, sexual wellness for men. Hims connects you with real doctors, medical grade solutions to treat ED, well known generic equivalents to name brand prescriptions to help you combat ED. Listen, people, no waiting room, you don't have to go to the doctor, and what are you here for? Oh, my, my boner doesn't work. It's fucking, it's awkward. Go to forhims.com, it's so easy. And severe ED is not just an issue for rich old guys in, in uh, bathtubs, okay? It happens to guys in their 30s and 40s, especially when you have a life like Rashad, right? Where you go out there, you knock. <laughs> I'll Chuck Liddell and knock off Forrest Griffin. And now this girl who's a seven isn't doing it for you. Well, listen, <laughs> go to beforehims.com. Check God it out. Dang, what? Uh, try hymns for a month for just $5. They'll get you started with just five bucks while supplies last. Go to the website. It would cost you hundreds. Go to forhims.com slash MMA Roast ED. That's F O R H I M S dot com slash MMA Roast ED. Forhims.com slash MMA Roast ED. It's uh, hard made easy. So. What's Scott, up, man? man? You recently retired. Yes. Two weeks ago, right? It was two weeks ago? Mm -hmm. You call Ariel show. You don't call me. Thank you. Well, know. first of all, Ariel reached out to me and was like, hey, what's going on? What, what news do you have for the world? Right. Now, my friend, who only texts me every once in a while, mm -hmm. Didn't even didn't even text me to say, "Hey man, how you feeling?" Really? You want to see? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, okay. 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 You did, you did do that, but you didn't ask me. Oh, no. to do the show. No, okay. no, but I did text you that night. Actually. Okay, you did, you did, you did. And actually, you know, while the elbow was landing, I texted you. <laughs> I texted you. But, so, did um, the elbow land? I was out cold. I don't know was, what you landed. Know what it was man, it, you were you were going in for like a double kind of thing against the cage. Yeah, I know what happened. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I, I, I got that far, <laughs> asshole. Asshole, no, thank you. No, no worries. Nah, Listen, that's man. Cool. Listen, That's cool. listen, you, you, uh, you've beaten the best guys in the world. You were the champion of the world. How many people can say they were champion of the world? Not many. Yeah. So you could say that. I've never been champion of any kind of world. Uh, not even a third world I can't even be champion of. So the fact that you said you could be the champion. and uh, But now, was it hard? I mean, was it was it difficult? Did you cry? Did you, did you was it okay? I mean, were you, were you, were you were, um, talk to me. Yeah, I mean, the the whole process was... was um, you know, it, it was it was pretty intense because you know there's many different phases that you have to go through when you're saying goodbye to something like you know that, that I've been a part of. So you know, the one one the one side was just kind of just you know going through my mind like, okay, you know, why do I still want to do it, and and you know why is it probably better if I stop, you know? And when when I came down to it, I just couldn't find enough reasons to uh, to do it anymore. You know, I feel like my my energy and um you know the person i'm growing into uh energy can be better served doing something else so yeah. that's 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 where my mind really started to go towards but it was hard though man ariel had me on the show ariel had me 
Uh, he had me. He always know how to bring out the sentimental stuff and get me crying, man. I don't know how he does it, but it's just I don't you know. You look at him and you're just like, man, thank God I don't look like that. And he's just crying. Is that, is that how? Uh, man, I'm not talking about Ariel like that, but I'm just saying he always knows how to get me bring out the emotion of everything you know well first of all i want to thank you for all the amazing uh inspirations hey uh what's your is your friend yeah yeah yeah. Uh, uh, could you t- record this oh yeah uh, I, I didn't even know he was bringing a cameraman so first of all <laughs> first of all i want to thank you for for making i mean just giving out so many people like me entertainment and hope and, and you're a good guy and thank and, you and you're not one of these i know that people were like on the Ultimate Fighter, you're always cocky because you didn't want to join Matt Hughes' team or something, yeah. right? And and that, but but that was not the case, man. You've always been super nice, super cool, super approachable, super just a good person. Uh, so I'm, I'm, you know, to ha- you know, you might not have went out the way you wanted to go out, but I think it's actually, I think it's better in some ways. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's, you know, if you, like you would have won a close decision, or I would have lost a close. Sometimes it's better to go. All right, I'm I'm out. Yeah, I know. That's that's the uh, thing. When I struggled thinking about like how it ended, I would I, I would get upset and frustrated with myself. But then I'm thinking, you know what? Everything happened the way it was supposed to happen. Because had I won and won the way I wanted to, then I don't know if I would have stopped. No, you wouldn't have stopped. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll, I'll answer that question. <laughs> yeah. you, you would not as No, how are you looking in practice going up to the fight? How are you how I was I was looking the best that um that I've looked in a long time. Like I saw I solved the uh big issue with my knee. I felt like I got every game, my movement back. Um, you know, I, I was I was I was on point. You know, I was on point. I was giving some uh you know, some good rounds in and and uh and and you know, rounds with with that fire, you know, not just bullshitting around rounds, but like real rounds. And I felt like I was on point, but, uh, you know, it's all about what happens on fight day. Right. Now, were you, are you going with, Us- with uh, Usman and, like, you guys were competitive and it was... Um, you know, I, I didn't train with, with Usman that much this for this camp because uh, our fights were kind of off-centered and his went first. Right. So, I, like, when he was at his peak, I was kind of still in the beginning phases. So I was just, like, only drill with him. And uh, do some things with him, but never live at that point. And then after his fight was over, he just kind of chilled out. So um, I had another training partner that was like, uh, he's six foot eight. His name was his name was Tall Steve, and uh, you know he's he's um, he's fighting for Titan right now. But he's a beast, man. He's a beast, and, and uh, he helped me out a lot. You know, uh, he he actually knows a lot of shit. So. It, it worked out pretty so good. Was you, Tall Steve, was it Tyron Sprung? Was, was he there? Nah, Spung. Spung was in, um, Spung was in um, Amsterdam. Okay. Yeah, he had to handle some stuff in Amsterdam. So it was me and I had my, my coach, uh, Rodney Brewer. You know, he used to work with AJ and stuff like that. So I didn't, I didn't really have much for this camp, to be honest. Uh, also, um, I was in Atlanta with Jukau at eight American Top Team. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> you went to Amer- you went to t- American Top Team. Yeah, yeah. No way. You think yeah. maybe that those guys like fucked with you and didn't give you like on purpose? No. Nah. <laughs> those guys. No, nah, no. Nah, they they, they was up? actually they were cool, man. They were really cool, man. American Top Team. They were really cool, man. Was and Colby I was Colby Covington over there. <laughs> nah, you know, I, you know, uh, Col- Colby Colby's a lot different when you see him in real life than when you see him on TV. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's a lot different, man, but. You know he's gotta he's gotta make his money. So was it a big Trump rally in his corner? Nah, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think he really believes the shit he be saying. I, I totally agree. Yeah, cause some, cause like if you ask like like just asking him if he starts asking him questions on like the actual policies, oh, then he has no idea. It's right. just you know it's just sound bites. Now it gets it's for the reaction. Like Colby or Woodley? I gotta go with T Wood. I gotta go with T Wood. Um, T Wood still got that dog in him. Like he's he's. He uh, he's got that chip on the shoulder, and that's what, and that's what you got to be. If you're the world champion, you got to have a chip on your shoulder. And uh, T Woods got that chip. Um, Kobe showed me a lot that last fight. You know, before I, I used to think, you know, uh, he's all mouth, but that motherfucker can squabble like hell. You know, he fights his ass off. So um, it's gonna be a tough fight, but I think that uh, I think that T Wood has um has a punch of power advantage. Yeah. Now, what do you think if the fight goes past three rounds? Do you think he? I mean, that's what I think. Yeah. Are, like, counting on. 
Well, that's 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 the hard part right there. That's that's the thing. Um, you know, because because Tyron Tyron he does have a gas tank, but because all it takes is gas in a few times in a fight, yeah. and it'll fucking totally fuck your mind up. So you could be in great shape, but just because you know what it feels like to gas, sometimes when you still got a lot in the gas tank. You'll pull back and be like, wait, I just don't want to gas. Oh, I just don't so want to gas. Right, so you see so, yourself a little, even though you don't need you to. You don't need to, yeah. yeah. So T. Wood, he he gets in that position sometimes too, you know. But a guy going with a guy like Kobe Covington, you can't do that because he's going to be full gas the whole time. Right, right, right. So that's that's the intangible that, that T. Wood have to watch out for. You know, just trust in the fact that he's going to have enough gas to push the, a high pace. Now, what do you think of this whole... I, like I guess they call it now entertainment era of the UFC where oh, man. guys like I think I think McGregor sort of paved the way where yeah. it's a lot of times where now it's like almost WWE characters versus you know just like the humble guys who just put their heads down and fight right it's uh it's different man You're it's retired different now, so you can say yeah yeah I know I know I just here here it is I I, re- I respect everybody's hustle man you know what I'm saying um. And I can't, and I don't want to be like one of them old school cats to be like, oh man, fuck that. Back in my day, that wouldn't fly. But you know, I, I was in my day. I I talk shit. You know, I I, I did it. No, it's 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 a it's a different it's a different game now. It's a different game now, and it's definitely um, you know, to to the tenth power. But um, you know, it, it's it, it it's these you know it's it's what people feel they need to do to stay relevant. You know, there's so many. Think about the landscape now. The landscape back then, when I was doing it, is not what it is now. There's so many fights going on right now that if you're not that if you're not um, fighting all the time and being relevant, then then your whole then then, then you have no platform. Nobody's gonna people are gonna forget about you. Yeah. So uh, you have to do something to keep your name in the news. You have to do something to keep it popping. When I fought, you know, there was a gap between fights and there was a build up and there was an anticipation. So people still remembered your last fight, now you know? Now there's so many fights. Now there's so many yeah. fights. You don't fight in three months. People ask you if you fucking retired. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it, so it's just a different landscape. So these guys are trying to to um, to catapult themselves and, 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 be, and, and make a name for themselves saying something. But my thing with it is like this, make your money all you can, but... Don't get so lost in it that it takes away from you who you are. You right. have to understand there's an actor and then there's there's a real person who you are. If you if you try to uh, get them messed up, then you lose total. You, you're gonna lose all the way, you know. But you gotta keep them separate and you have to understand. A lot of these guys just they don't they don't they're not that they don't understand that yet. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. Now you recently were in a movie with Rampage, playing German spies. Uh, now, like when I heard this, I started laughing. But it's like a legitimate, huge movie, like a huge director, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, Joe Carnahan, and it's a uh, yeah huge, huge uh, movie with um, some really good actors Who's in, in it. it. Mel Gibson. Okay. Um, Frank Grillo is playing lead. Uh, Naomi Watts is in it. Um, the guy. Uh, you and Mel go out drinking at all? No, nah, I, I actually miss Mel. I miss Mel when okay. I. And then um, who else? You know, you know the guy from The Hangover, the Asian, the Asian guy, Doctor Ken. Doctor, yeah, yeah he's, he's, he's a doctor. He's a doctor in real life, yeah, man. Of course, yeah. Holy shit! I was so impressed, man. Blown away. He's in it. Did he work on you or? Huh? No, oh. no, no. He didn't. Um, but it was um, so Doctor Ken, Mel Gibson, yeah, it, Robs, you yeah. and Rampage. But it has, it has more people in there too. Like every every single day, I was there. Like, oh, this person was just there, and I'm like, damn, this movie got a lot of people in it. And what was your part? I was a German twin. I know, but like, what were you a bad guy? Or obviously, yeah. So let let me get let me give it an idea of, of what the movie is about. Um, it is about uh, it's about this guy like Groundhog's Day meets Die Hard. Wow! So sounds awesome. Yeah. So I'm an assassin. The German twins an assassin, and we kill the lead character like no. A lot. Now, when I think of you, I don't think of German spy. <laughs> now, how, did, how did you prepare this accent? Did you go to Germany? Did no, no I, I did it. I did it. I was just, um, you know, just. I did you have a, like a bit like a tape recorder that like how did you how do you know a German accent? 
It wasn't you. I, I didn't speak in. A, I would just. I just said German words. I just said German words. Like they just told me what to say, and okay. I just said the words. Yeah. You, you don't know what you were saying though. You could have just said. Like, I mean, I looked at what I was saying, oh. but uh, but I. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, pretty now, much. Now you and Rampage. I know you guys are like notorious for busting each other's balls and yada yada. Yeah. But now you guys are friends. Yeah, man. It was. It was. Uh. It was actually pretty cool, man. Um. Uh. Because it's good to hear his perspective about what happened and my perspective and here's the thing about it none of it actually was talking about the fight itself we were just talking about everything else that happened all the moving parts in between uh you know us being on the show and to us actually step into the cage fight but now how was his cardio for the movie did he guess that? <laughs> <laughs> he actually he actually brought his trainer really yeah yeah he brought his trainer his man ben and jerry hold on a second by the way god damn this dude is. Hey, come in, come in. Oh. So you know Vince Michelle? Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up? What's up? Hey, grab a mic. We're, we're waiting for you. What's going on, so we're talking about we're talking Vince. about Vince Michelle. So we're talking about Rashad's new movie. What's up, Vince? Uh, right there, where he played a, a, a German spy with Rampage. Oh, wait, with Mel Gibson's in it, Naomi Watts, yeah, Dr. It's, Ken. I'm like a news reporter with this microphone. Uh, this, this sounds amazing. <laughs> it, 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 yo, it was amazing, man. It was one of the funnest things that uh, I've done in a long time, man. Now, and, I mean, oh, it was acting. Do you got the acting bug? You know what? I, I um, I think, I think, I think I might, man. I think I might. I want to, I want to do more stuff in acting. Well, it, you're so charismatic, dude. Like, I, I knew from the podcast you. you were singing on the podcast. You're, you're, <laughs> playing, you're acting. Your comedy is, is that on. why you retired? <laughs> yeah, I, I want to pursue, pursue my, my singing career. Your, 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 yeah, comedy's on, your comedy's on point. Uh, nah, my comedy. It, see, he, listen, he, he wants me to get on stage. Dude, you're no. trying to tell me too. I'm like, I don't write jokes. Uh, no, but he's not. I, I, I was, I was fucking around. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me think. No, I know. I think. Yeah. Damn. See. Yeah. See. No. Um. <laughs> hey, I live. I live. I live a long life, man. I feel like I, I feel like I live about five lives, man. You do, but, but you know what though? Lot, it's it's life though. We never know how the shit's gonna end off. Like we all go into it thinking one way, but life is life, and life happens, and we think that we can build a, a gate or a bridge around okay i got my life and this is gonna how it's gonna stay but what happens is life takes over and says fuck your plans this is what it is and, and the then it, the yeah and then and then you either accept it or you now how long have you had this girlfriend a, who the new one oh, i had it for years man years oh, yeah years I, 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 it was the we were doing in the podcast, huh? That what was it? What was that comedy? What was that comedy store? Somewhere, like, yeah, yeah. Was that comedy store? Man, I don't know, man. It was good for you, man. You're happy. Yes, I am happy, man. I'm, I'm happy, man. That's awesome. I'm happy, man. How are you? Are you happy? I'm, I, I got my baby out in like three yep. weeks. Uh, nervous. You nervous? Yeah, of Why? Of course, I'm nervous because I gotta figure out how to stay home more and make money because <laughs> I don't want to be away. I don't be that father. You gotta pay yourself that paternity leave. And I wish I should get comedy paternity leave, but unfortunately, there's none. There's no union uh, there's, of, of comedians. Now, Vince, as you you know, better, now Vince we haven't right? talked to you since your last fight. Yeah. Uh, Gregor Gillespie, you fought a guy who was uh, obviously a national champion wrestler. I, I was worried about this one because I told, like I said, you came to wrestling in middle school and, and the kids were teaching you the moves. Yeah. Uh, but, but you were doing well. It seems like every time you connected against this guy, you rocked him. Yeah. You, you hurt him. But and then he took you down, but you, you yeah. stopped a bunch of the takedowns. Yeah, he didn't. Yeah, I stopped a couple of his takedowns. Um, I knew he was gonna take me down. He's a he's an all American dude. Like he's a fucking legit wrestler. Yeah. So I was like, all right, this guy's gonna take me down. I'm just gonna get up, throw some bombs on him. Get up, throw some bombs. Like that's the plan. You know, wear him out from that. Cause I have like I'm good at getting up. Like like how he said that no one's ever like kept. You know, he's never like had someone be able to just get up from him like that. Like I've never had someone hold me down like that. Like I've till this day I've never had a wrestler that was able to like hold strong me as around. fuck. Yeah, like yeah. If I want to get, especially if there's a wall or cage I can use, I like I'll, I'll always get up. Yeah. You know. But I was a little nervous though. You were saying like when you were headed before the fight, you're like, yeah, I don't care if he takes me down. And I was like, oh man, that's that, that might be tough. I mean, I do, but it's like I can't go in there being like, she can't take me down, can't take me down. And then I just get taken down a bunch of times. And I get all frustrated, and pissed off, and get emotional. You know what I mean? Like that shit doesn't play well in fights. So. But it was okay. I, you didn't, yeah. Like I said, you didn't get beat up. You didn't get hurt. No, yeah, I didn't get beat up. Um, I was kind of, 
I was kind of talking shit to him too, like tell him fucking let me have my wait till I get up. <laughs> but I was like, whatever. He didn't want nothing to striking. He 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 fought the fight smart. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like he fought me with his strength, and uh, I didn't do my job to to fight my my strengths and, and you know against his strength. So. So if you had to do you had to do it over again, what would you have done? Probably same thing, but just keep keep like. Doing the same plan, keep to the plan, and then uh, not make a stupid ass mistake like I did. Because I made a dumb mistake, that's how I got caught. I wasn't controlling his, uh, his head control arm. Right. Because that's like one thing that how you're always catching people is that. And uh, I just got lazy with it because the position we were in, I didn't, I didn't uh, respect it enough, and I just got caught. But, but you know, that's the name of the game, dude. Like, it you know, is. Like, you get dude, caught, man. The smallest mistake will fuck you. I'm like, telling you. And that's just what happened, so. It's okay. It sucks, you know. I've been hurt. Like I cried in the back of a little bitch, dude. Like it fucking hurt. But. You cried? Yeah. Dude. Oh, you're, like, such a, sucks, you're a bitch. Dude. I know. That shit I'm sucks. kidding. I, I'd be I'm crying too. Bitch, but you know what I mean? Like. I put so much. Money. Nah, you, you, you got. But, but that's the thing about it. Like, it's not like you're a little bitch. Is that you put, you put a lot into it, man. Yeah. You gave up a big part of your of your year to do this. You know, you dedicated. You visualized to it. And when you lose. That shit is hard. To, that shit is hard to fathom, especially yeah. if you wrap your mind around it. You're like, I'm a win. You and you lose. Yeah, and you have that. You have that. Just that no doubt in your Jeez, head. You know I mean? Yeah, that this shit is hard. Like that. Like, that shit sucks. It's I hard mean, to deal with. I, you know, I'm not. I'm no stranger to failure. I failed a lot, and I'll probably continue to fail the rest of my fucking life. But you know what I mean? That doesn't define me. It's, it's how I come back. Yeah. yeah you just but, have to come back, man. Of course. But see, that's the thing about it. Like for the longest time, like before, um, before I understood how to lose. When you lose, <laughs> it's a hard thing to learn, huh? <laughs> it's a hard thing to wrap your mind around. But when you lose, like you gotta wear that shit, like, 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 oh man, like a dirty stain on you, and you just feel it, like you you feel it, right? Yeah, For the longest time, and that shit just reeks. But you can't, you can't, you can't wash it off. You can't you wash it off. You like, I need another <laughs> fight to get this fucking stink off me. Now, can yeah. you, like, can you not sleep that night? Are you up all night? It depends, I man. Bad at it, actually, I didn't sleep I know, when I slept. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, I was so bummed for you, man. Plus, in like Utica, you gotta be, in, and you you insulted the whole place. Yeah, well, they really hated me from the get go, but that place was kind of shitty. Like, I didn't really like it out there. <laughs> That's where you you're know, from, right? Aren't you from? Are you from there? Utica? He's not yeah, I'm from there. Utica. I'm from Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls, New York. Yeah, well, not too damn far if you were, at all. Feel bad because if you were from there, you'd know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know. You, I, I heard about Utica. What did call it. Did you see that tweet? He called it like God's Forgotten Land or something. Uh, something yeah. horrible. Someone told me about that. I started laughing. I was like, fuck. So let's talk about the fight everyone's talking about. Obviously, Tito versus Chuck 3. Dude. Golden Boy MMA. I think I think Tito can win. I think he's going to win. I think. He's, he's, he seems like he's healthier. He's in better shape. I think Chuck he's been staying been more active. Shot here, fucking clean his clock, dude. You fought dude. both these guys. Yeah. Uh, who do you think is going to win? Um, I'm going to be honest. I think Chuck is gonna win. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not because Tito. I, I honestly, I think that physically speaking, right now, maybe Tito has more in a tank, and especially after he got his neck fixed and everything like that. And and I touched Tito the other day at the at the award show, and the motherfucker was hard. He felt like he was <laughs> he was strong as hell. So you know he's in shape. But with him and Chuck is mental. It's Even very mental. He like has like a, like a walker. It's a mental. It's mental, and 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 it's gonna be hard for Tito to mentally overcome the guy who was, I guess his. How do I say this without sounding too fucking dramatic? Daddy? But true. The guy that beat him like his fucking daddy used to, basically. <laughs> well, goddamn, I wasn't gonna say that. I was gonna say uh, that's rough. That's rough, man. That's like, rough. It is rough. But that's that's how rough it was. thing to you say. Hey, well, you say, well, you said it. Yeah, what you, were you gonna say? Huh? Was I was just saying, just, just sure no. I was gonna say his demise in the UFC because that's what that's what you, what happened. It was like when, you know. But see, I don't think that was. I think Chuck just had his number. You know, what I mean, there's just certain fighters. Yeah. That, you know, what I mean, have your number, and I think Chuck was just that guy for Tito. But T, but the thing about it was, is just that, like in the beginning, like Tito wanted no, no. Tito didn't want no pro, like he didn't yeah. want no smoke. With fucking no, Tito uh, for, for with Chuck for the longest time, and he avoided it <laughs> around it all the time, you know. And then it became inevitable. But then, like you can tell that whatever they had or whatever the experience that we don't even know, you know, Tito felt some kind of way about the dominance of Chuck. Yeah. And I don't think that psychology just fucking leaves you just because 
you get older. But you haven't know? you seen it doesn't, Chuck but... lately though? I mean, it seems like he's in bad shape. Yeah, I, I'm I'm mainly giving Tito because like I, I was thinking about that too, but I also, I think Tito's body is in a lot better shape than Chuck. Yo, I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna tell you right now, Tito is, is probably one of the best dudes I ever fought. Like he is yeah, everyone lied to you, right? That yo, right? they kept saying that it would be dude. The first, the first time I fought Tito, the first <laughs> listen, listen, the first time I fought Tito, dude, people were like gassing me up, and I was just eating that shit up, <laughs> eating it up. <laughs> oh, you got to do, it. you got to destroy yeah. him, right? Now there's nothing like going to see the fight, thinking it's gonna be one way, and then the fight actually turns out oh, way yeah. fucking different sure than you know. thought. So Next thing you know, like, like the first minute, this motherfucker double legged me, and I flew across the cage. I, it felt like I flew half the fucking distance to the cage. Fuck. He got on top of me, and he was stronger than fucking ten gorillas. Yeah. And I was like, "What the fuck? They got me." And then, and then, yo, and then I'm looking across the cage at my corner. And they're like telling me to get up, and I'm trying my damnedest to move, and I'm stuck. Like, and I'm like, I'm stuck in cement, and I just can't help but just look at them, and just like, you motherfuckers lied to me. I was so pissed off. It took me, it took me around to get over that shit to be like, all right, man. You look like, at the corner, they're all just. Yeah, yeah, I was like, yo, you motherfuckers lied to me. He's strong as shit. Yeah. I don't know what yo. I don't know what kind of. Yeah, that's what I think. He's I got mean, a he big look, ass fucking dome. Yo, you can't listen. Dude, that's the no, no. Here's the thing, thing about it. You can't. More to him too, though, this fight. You can't punch. You can't punch Tito in the head. Dude, yeah. That's Why? a fucking mistake. Hit a fucking rock, it's a dude. fucking mistake. Hit a rock. You're wasting punches. You listen. Knocked him out with punches to the head. Yo, I'm telling you, you can't Not like like, like that motherfucker's head. <laughs> that motherfucker's head just absorbs your punch, man. It punch him in the head is like that fucking she bad dream. Was yeah, he was the huge. I couldn't believe how big. Listen, yeah, I'm yeah. telling you. He was telling me about because I asked him last night. I said, one of the he was Tank Abbott's training partner, and one of Tank Abbott's fights, he tried to throw the guy over the cage, and I said, why did he do that? And he goes, oh, in practice, he was like, you know, it'd be funny if I threw a guy over the cage. So during the fight, he tried to throw the guy over the, over the cage, cage, but the guy didn't clear it. Right. But also like. The guy would just walk back in the cage. Like it wasn't like you won. It wasn't like a. It wasn't like a, a royal Stupid. rumble. Would, would, that, that would be disqualification, wouldn't it? Yeah, Someone silly. It, but <laughs> funny how enough. funny would that be if someone did do that? And let's say if it was disqualification, the guy just walks around patiently, <laughs> you know, wait to get back in and let him back in, they just continue the fight. Like, okay, let's go. That's where that's where the sport's headed. <laughs> now, but, uh, now, all right. Now the the, the, uh, the other big fight, obviously, this week we're talking about Cormier versus Stipe. Woo. DC's yeah. my guy. I like DC, but you man, Stipe is so much bigger, so much bigger and stronger. Now I, I maybe even say faster. Damn. And I just don't know how DC's gonna win. Rashad, talk to me. Damn. <laughs> was a, was a- okay. Okay. Well, I mean, I do hear what you're saying, but you're forgetting one thing. This was the weight class that DC started off in when he became the DC as we know him now. He's done so by beating these guys. Stevie wasn't in that weight class back. No, no, but I'm 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 not I'm not talking about Stevie directly. I'm just making size comparisons. Mm-hmm. I'm making, yeah. you know, like he's used to being in this role. A smaller guy. Yeah, he's used to being a smaller guy. So that's that's what makes me think that he has more of a better chance, more more than a, a, a good chance. And also, you can't forget who his training partner is. His training partner is probably one of the baddest heavyweight men to ever grace the octagon. We can't forget Khabib? this. No. <laughs> but we can't we can't forget you know what I'm saying? We can't forget this. Mm-hmm. I know I know Stipe I know Stipe is definitely um in a league of his own when you when you're talking about the heavyweights nowadays, but you can't forget who DC Stablemate is. Mm-hmm. So it's I don't know, man. It's it's no, I'm, but that's no. But I was just I was just like saying that. No, I didn't. Yeah, listen, listen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now DC. Oh, okay. Uh, Morgan Freeman versus uh, versus versus Luke Rockhold. Well, you can't. Morgan Freeman was the voice of God. So. See, now, you know what's so bullshit about that? You know what's so bullshit about that is is if. 
<laughs> it's just bullshit. <laughs> that's, just bullshit about it. that's bullshit. That's bullshit. Okay, then I'm, I'm not. The black guys. Huh? No, I, for obviously I've I never not, picked a white guy to be the black guy. <laughs> yeah, I have. But name one. I don't. I don't think about it like that. So I don't. I can't okay. think of a time that I did that because that'll be racist in itself, right? <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> yeah, <great. laughs> yeah, yeah. You like, like, come on. If I, if, 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 if I got, if I fell for that silly shit. <laughs> of course. I, no, I no. I'm not. I'm not picking these guys because they're black, but I'm I'm it's I'm picking them because it. I work I work I work with them. I work with these guys. Okay, oh, so you, work, and so I, you work with DC. That's why you're picking them. But I but I known DC since college. Have you ever trained with them? Yeah. Who wins? I mean, when I when I did train with them. Yeah. I got DC, but that was way in the beginning. Nice. I, I like like him, he made I him quit. Like, like, how he was like, like, like did you knock him out cold? Or? No, no, no. We just, uh, first of all, he didn't really know too much. Okay. But he, I, brought, I, 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 brought, yeah, I, brought him, I brought him into the camp for uh, Rampage, and um, I kind of like pulled my hamstrings, so I really couldn't do much. I was doing, I was being kind of light. So he was like, yo, all right, you can get, you can get down on the shot, on the cage, and see if you can take me down. So... I got his ass and I took his ass down and I and I like did it real good and I flared his legs and everything, slammed him on his back, and then I just kinda like stood over him a little bit. This motherfucker was so mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? He, yo, he was so mad. And then we told and then we told him that somebody recorded it and put it on his wrestling form. Yo, DC, yo, yo, he was fucking pissed off, man. You told him that just to fuck with him? Yeah, yeah, just oh, to fuck with him. Mean, oh, man. <laughs> a wrestling forum. A wrestling forum, yo. He's super competitive. Yo, he's, yo, like, yeah. That shit, dude, that like, what really wrestling good. forum would you guys do? Like, that's so ridiculous. That you did, but that's you did back in the day. Like, that was like in so 2009. Funny. It was, you know, of course. wrestling forums and shit. Yeah, it doesn't matter. No, but that must have felt pretty good that you're taking down a two-time Olympian. Right? You, you must have patted yourself on the back for that. Yeah, of course. Of course. But he didn't expect to come. So that's why, you know, I was a specialty that's on the awesome. cage. So you're picking DC. Yeah, but here, here's a th- here's my here's my here's my counter to that too. You know, um, <laughs> counter to the counter, counter, counter to wrong. the counter, counter to the counter. No, I'm just I just want to pump Stepe's tires because I I do got um, tremendous amount of respect for Stepe and what, oh, is that what you he's think been able. Those tires is that a real expression? Yeah, you yeah. pumped the tires. I like that. You get them rolling, dude. That's yeah. awesome. I was yeah. pumping my own tires, and this chick blew me. I had, I, I, I had this, this uh, I had this Filipino good. girl, and she I, what? we got a flat, and I, I pumped the tires myself. And like in LA, no one does that. She, she's like, that was, bike pump? she's like, that was so sexy. You gave me the best head ever. But back to you. Right, so nah, I mean that was that was a great that was a great that was a great segue. Oh, thank you. And I, relevant I, too. I like a head is the best head ever. All right, go on. So, <laughs> the best, head, yeah, the best yeah. head you got is always the last head you. Uh, uh, so, so Rashad. No, I was, I was gonna say, um, you know, CPA is 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 definitely uh, coming to his own. You know, the last few fights, and I think that with his mindset that he has right now, is bringing his skill to a whole another level, because. He's got that. He's got the chip on his shoulder. You see what I'm saying? So mentally, when you, when you go, when you got to assess a fight, you got to look at the the psychology. You know, people looking at the X's and O's from a punching standpoint. But I'm thinking like, okay, what the hell is this man thinking? Like, what's in his mind? You know, what's his motivation? I think me personally, as a fighter, him emotionally, he's evolving. Like, yeah. Now it's him emotionally evolving as a fighter. Oh yeah. Coming into his own, becoming comfortable. And just like, like, there's this like bucket like I'm telling so. you, see, fighting, fighting is psychological, and people don't, people don't see that. So they, 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 then you should know. Like, remember when you beat that three-time national champion in psychological? College? See, remember that? Yeah, I yeah. Mean, I mean, like that's what I heard. I heard you beat a three-time national champion in college. What was his name? Greg Jones. Greg that's Jones. My, my coach. The biggest upset in the college. He's my, he's my coach now. He's my coach now. And then, yeah. And then you lost to like a JV guy right after. <laughs> oh, <JV guy. laughs> no, yo. First of all, he's lying. I lost. I lost. Someone I, like me. Nah. Like first year, the guy walked in and was like, "Oh, can I do a tournament and beat and pin?" Rashad. Get the fuck out of <laughs> Listen to him. Listen to him. <laughs> Damn, I get no respect. But no, but <laughs> <laughs> it was like no, a, but what happened? Tell us what happened. Huh? Tell us what happened. About what? No, I don't know. But then you beat like a huge upset. And, yeah, and then Greg Jones. That wasn't as good. Yeah. You, like, no, he was he was. Right? It was psychological because the guy who I lost to is the same guy I can never beat in the uh, the Big Ten tournament. So I drew him again. At the uh, at the nationals, at the nationals, in the same round. But and you probably could have beaten him. Yeah, it was four three, like it always is. 
And he'll just get that. He'll just get that that point. And this motherfucker was a master at stalling. He can oh. stall. Yo, I hate those guys. He is the the best. He was the best stall I've ever seen him. That's one thing I hated about tournaments and shit is like that, like the loopholes of the rules. Yeah, people once they learn that his, shit, people play that shit, and it's such a hard. His, part. his name was uh, Ryan Lang from Purdue. That boy, he was a beast, man. But what? that motherfucker, he'll stall his ass off. Don't let him get a point on you. Well, call, hey, man, but call dressing. Well, man once told me if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Yeah, <laughs> you ain't lying. <laughs> Tell him to girlfriend. Uh, but but, but <laughs> yeah. college wrestling has morphed now into, I think Ben Askren has ruined college wrestling. I, I'm, I love Ben Askren. Why? why, why well, the, the every funk time style? someone goes for like a single leg or like a double leg or, so, or whatever, and the other guy grabs the guy's shoelaces as he's being picked up, and it's a way of stalling, and then they go to... Potentially dangerous. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. And they yeah, start yeah. over like twelve Wait, what times. You, what, are you even, what are you even talking about? Like, he's okay. talking about the he's talking about the whole funk style wrestling. How everybody do all that funky shit when 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 they when somebody gets doubled, then they jump between their legs and they do all kinds of squirrel shit and oh, to get out of the moves. Shit. Yeah, they, but they, 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 for dear they go. But the, but you know what though. That shit, it, it works, it though. It works. works. But it's so annoying because it's like a guy goes in for like a deep double or like a Oklahoma or something, and the other guy grabs the guy's shoelaces and just almost goes for like an ankle, like a heel hook or something, and it just hangs out there, and then no one moves, and the ref goes, all right, we're going to start over again. And this happens like six times every, and I'm like, come, we got to figure out a way to do this. is uh, Something's got to happen here. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Dude, I'm telling you, man, I, I, went, I went against a wrestler in Michigan, and that motherfucker was the king of the funk. Like, he could, he could funk his way out of any damn move. It was like, it, it was so frustrating. You just want like, wanted to throw your hands up like, man, fuck this. You wrestle him. <laughs> you wrestle him. This shit is retarded, man. Like, all you do is do too much funk. It's the worst thing in the world. But, I mean, it's effective, though. But I don't even teach that. Because like, I, I don't think that's... The, the, it's weird, to, you know. You have to be careful with that kind of stuff too. But that's listen, how though, get hurt sometimes. Like, if you, you know, can't, if you, but well, here's the thing about it, though. If you if you teach a good fundamentals, then the good fundamentals they kind of tie into, like some of that funk shit does tie into some of what you do. Like no, it works. It I guess, but I, but I see it like in the yeah. like, finals. I'm I'm watching just that happen all the time, and I'm just like. So what do you? So what do you teach when someone's got that leg and they extended it out? I'm teaching sprawl and wizard. You know, sprawl. I'm not. I'm not teaching dive for the guy's ankles and hold and wrap it around and hold on for life. Like even yeah. though that does work, and, but because but it's not really a counter. It's more of like a counter to get a potentially dangerous situation. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 Stuff. And you can't you can't teach everybody that shit because you teach everybody that shit. People's bodies can't do it. Some people can't do it. Some yeah. people can't do it. You know what I'm saying? You, yeah. Some people just not that funk style. I had, I had issues like that. With, I had issues like that with a lot of stuff at first because I was so weird like, learning stuff. Because I was yeah. thinking and like learning from scratch. Like for instance, uh, my my coach would teach me on platas. Yeah. And like I know it. You know what I mean? I know. The, I know. I know the the technical part of it. I know how to get in the position. You know. I know where to see it. But for some reason, when I would do it, it was never happening. You know what I mean? And I'm just like. This shit don't work for me. Yeah. So, so last night, Vince. Okay, we had the MMA awards last night. It went great. I was so happy the way the sketches yeah. went. I was so fun. so happy, so thank proud. You, thank you for getting me in there. Piven killed awesome. it. I got Rashad. I, I didn't get you guys. Got yourselves, but I just recommended. So Vince goes up there with Rowdy Beck, and he's <laughs> no, practicing. It was Jesse, it was Jesse, Jesse Jess. Jess, and he right. Jess, sorry, sorry. So and he's practicing for like four hours. I hear like four hours. According, you told me shit. <laughs> he goes up there. And it's like he can't read. Uh, people were people were laughing. <laughs> you missed the line. I didn't even know the tone. You made you made mixed. you made every fighter look so dumb, right? And then Jesse Jess <laughs> was like, hey, "That was his line." Uh, what's oh wrong? yeah 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 yeah. People Damn, were like, "Man, these guys right. are Neanderthals." You 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 set back MMA yeah. at least forty years, dude. So oh, yeah. and then then that night, you and Jess are going back and forth for fighting on Twitter because. She did snitch on you and say that you missed a line. Yeah, she ratted me out. What happened, Vince? I don't know. But it was kind of funny, dude. She's a cool chick, but so we were in the back, and I was like, "Fuck!" I was like, "I don't remember the lines. Do you remember them?" She's like, "No." She's like, "But there's there's a teleprompter, right?" And I was like, "Yeah, but where is it?" I was like, "I don't see it." I was like, "Maybe it's in the podium." Because I've seen them where they're in the podiums before, where you like look down, you know, I mean, you read it. And then uh, so I'm like, we got there, and I was like, "Oh shit, where is it?" And then she's already like starting to spout off her lines. So I was like, "Fuck, fuck!" And I'm like panicking. And I'm like, oh shit, it's in front of me. And then I start reading, but then like, oh, as man. I was reading, the lines came in my head. 
And then like it, it came out, but then I cut off like like maybe like last <laughs> last half of the sentence. Damn. Uh, then he started reading. Go to commercial. I started saying. Like, <laughs> it, 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 was the color, it was just the rainbow spectrum. I don't remember. I just made. I just. No, you did good. I, I made my own thing up though. The man. actual award was actually based on you. Like yeah. you had, they took his body. Kicking, which I didn't know you can throw a kick. And, 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 and they, made a, uh, they made an award out of it. Yeah, yeah. The, and, and and you told everyone that. I thought you were gonna be like, by the way, my penis is bigger in real life than on this. Award. <laughs> <laughs> it's not actually a kick. You're right. Morning wood. Yeah, that's actually my. That's, yeah. that's me stretching back with the morning wood. <laughs> they, but yeah, man, they they didn't believe it. They didn't, I don't think people still don't believe it. But Whatever. Who cares? Yeah, 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 yeah. We we all know it's true. So all right, so so are you, Vince? Are you picking uh, Stipe or uh, DC? I really, really, really like DC. Like, he's an awesome dude. I love watching him fight. I think he's really good against guys that are uh, Stipe size. Like, he's good at getting underneath guys, getting him up in the air like Barnett, and just fucking ragdolling him. But I think Stipe is going to be too good for that, and I think he's going to stop him with his wrestling, even though it's not to the the degree is yeah. Cormier's but I think that I think Corm- I think Stipe's gonna be able to stop him with that and just beat him up outside dude and I think Stipe's gonna run away with it and I think Rashad's gonna be very mad because his bias opinion isn't gonna be right yeah nah you know what he's not no, be my listen, listen no 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 listen listen I don't I I I have biased reasons. Like I don't really have a dog in the fight besides the fact that DC is my friend. Like I I have a personal relationship with DC, you know. So that's that's the thing. Like and, and Stipe and Stipe is my boy too, but you know, it's I don't know, I man. Think, I, I think feel DC can make it into like a kind of an ugly fight, like a knockdown drag out fight. I think he can win that way. Because like I think he fights pretty good like that when he comes in throwing bombs and uses wrestling too. Yeah. Like, when he just comes at you like that's what I say. Like, and and I think, and I think, and also another thing to understand in this fight too is the fact that, you know, once, you know, uh, DC got knocked out before, and when you get knocked out, it, it you understand like, okay, shit, I can get knocked out, right? So when you're in a fight, and you start taking those shots, that that like it gives you that like little blackout. Before where you probably would just kept going through it, yeah, like before you might just kept going through it. But now you may get a little reserved and pull back and have a, have a slight hesitation, yeah. you know. And Stipe has a lot of power, so I don't know if if DC is gonna feel that confidence to keep going forward when he starts feeling those those big heavy shots. Maybe, but DC is really good at getting underneath shots. You know? he, he is, man. He's good at getting in and closing that distance. He got he, his 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 punching style. That shit is it's effective as fuck, man. Like but he that. is like also like he also but he's also sixty. <laughs> I mean, I mean are, are we factoring in that Stipe is 34 years old or 33 in his prime? Yeah, DC, I know. Yeah. I mean, has been through some wars. I mean, he's just been... Yeah, but he's still in good shape, bro. Like, he takes care of himself. Can I add something here or no? He's a size... What was that? Yes, of course you can. All right. What's the weight you think John Jones came in that fight at? I ain't talking about the weight in. What do you think he showed up at that fight at? Uh, what uh, fight day? Uh, yeah. Probably two... Well, they weighed in at 205. Probably two... 25? Right. And before that kick, did you have DC ahead? Of course. Now, put John Jones, that John Jones against Stipe. Do you think Stipe beats him? I don't because know. Because I had DC beating John Jones before that kick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was there. You're right. was yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. Yeah. 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 No, nah, I can't. DC only left because he didn't want to fight Cain Velasquez. That was his best friend. But he was dominating the heavyweight division. Yeah, he was. He was. He, he was, but I just think Stipe. Stipe lost Stipe. twice. He lost once. Once? Well, he lost. Oh, no, he lost to Junior Dos Anjos, right, the first time? Yeah, he lost twice. Yeah, he lost twice, yeah, yeah, yeah. DC had lost in that division. He was dominating. Mm-hmm. He was dominating. And this wasn't that long ago. And that John Jones fight, he was... He was You're making a lot of sense here, okay? Yeah, I mean, those were the only losses. <laughs> You're making a lot I'm of sense you. here. I just think that, like, in a good big guy beats a good smaller guy. Uh, and I do think that DC is a, a great guy, but I think a great fighter and yada yada yada. But he's a naturally should be two hundred five. So how does Stipe? How is I, no? I don't agree. I don't agree with that. He has a size like triple D bra. I, I, no, but this is his body type. Yeah, he got he got he got that. He's got he's got big. And you had him you had him cooning in that video, man. <laughs> he was. Great. You got, <laughs> hey, you got you got too many black friends to be doing stuff like that. <laughs> 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 he got too many black friends to be writing skits like that. 
you gotta check with the with your with your, with your black with your black friends with before your you. Black PR person. Yeah, you gotta be like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm, yeah, you you gotta you gotta get it. Well, the original song was to be, uh, the song was to be food stamps and cold forty five. Oh, oh my god, oh, man. damn, oh, man. god damn, oh, man, no. that's fucked up. <laughs> Wow! No, I'm just this <laughs> motherfucker is serious. <laughs> Go pull that ripcord, bro. <laughs> yeah, you pull it. God <laughs> damn. No, uh, look, who do I want? I like both these guys. I like Steve. I like DC. I'd be happy for both of them. They win. I'm hoping for a draw. Uh, uh, honestly, and I, 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 lo- I love both these guys. They're both great guys. I just think that Steve. I stood next to DC. I stood next to Steve, and you're just like, yeah. But it's the the fight. Listen, the fight is not about the size. Like how many times that we gotta see this shit to understand? It is, it's not about the size, it is man. Emotional. No, but no I just. How, how, how is Steve gonna beat him? How? Okay. Is he known for knocking people out? He's got. He's got. So yeah, he knocked out over him. Yeah, he's got good power. He's, he, he was a has, Golden Glove boxer. He's a. He is pretty he's a, good wrestler. He's a college wrestler. He's a in his prime. He's a firefighter. He's a firefighter. He's not afraid. This guy's die. got an amazing heart. And so you think he's gonna knock him out? Because you don't think he's gonna he out wrestle him. A I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna take him down and just ground and pound him. No way! No way! <laughs> you could have said anything yeah. besides that shit. I, I, he's gonna take fucking DC down and ground upon him. Yeah, I do. No I, I, way, I, man! And then I release this podcast after the fight, dude. <laughs> 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 that is not idea. That is not. No disrespect to John, but it, it took an allegedly. Juiced up John Jones Allegedly. to knock that man out. But I don't think I don't think John's needed the steroids to beat anybody, right? I mean, you train with John, right? You think he needed steroids to beat anybody? Absolutely not. Absolutely, absolutely not. But, but then, but then, Colby Covington those did tell me though that on the podcast that John was taking steroids all through college. Uh, that when he wrestled wow. in high school and college, he wrestled in college, he wanted to go to heavyweight, and he was and he named the guy that actually sold it to him. So. Oh, like, um, so if if that's the case, Damn, then he Kobe probably is cold. Yeah. Yo, Co- yo, Kobe, cold blooded. God cold damn. Uh, but if but if, if that's the case, then, and then maybe he was juiced up for your fight, and if and then maybe I take back what I said just now. Man, look. But I mean, did you ever see him like shooting in the in the, in the locker room fuck and offering no. you some? Fuck, fuck no, 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 never, never. I don't. I've I don't. Been accused of juicing. You know. Look, man. I, here, 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 here's here's the thing about it. Here's the thing about it. You can say John, you can say John Juice or whatever the case may be, but you can't take away this motherfucking genius inside that goddamn octagon. Yeah, he is the best fighter, I believe, to ever be in the octagon. I agree, but in in practice, you did beat him up though, right? Yeah, I mean, practice is practice, you know. <laughs> now, now, practice did, did is he, practice. Now, did you make him run out of the, the cage? Or, nah, or like, nah. No? We we it, it's Many practice, man. You, you know, we we you, like tapped him. We 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 uh we go against each other. You know, you win some days, some days you you lose. Some well, days you hammer. Some strikes. It's hard because he's like the one of those yeah. lanky motherfuckers, huh? I'm like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I I tell you, I will tell you what though, he's a very fast learner. Because if you have one good day of practice against him, the next time you go against him. He's, he's wise to you. He's oh, he's he's on, and then yeah. he gives you trouble in the area where you're able to get him before. So you didn't make him tap the strikes. That's that's what I heard. Man, yeah. listen to this, mother. Listen. <laughs> what, but what, what I want to understand is what, what I what I want to understand is why does he do it? Why does he try to keep poking and poking and poking? He's over here like like I'm not he's over like here like Joe Rogan. Like he was, yeah, he was, like who do you want to? Ask? Yeah, like God no, damn, I'm, I'm, man. Oh, I'm like shit, man. I don't got shit to say about nobody, man. I'm not talking shit about nobody. Of course, of course. But if you did have shit to say, <laughs> what would it be like? <laughs> what if you was talking shit? What would you say? Let's just have a couple sample sentences. <laughs> so, so Max Holloway, uh, Ortega. This fight, I, I don't oh, know. Dude. Damn. Dude. I'm going Ortega. Man, Ortega just got that. I, I haven't seen. I haven't seen Maxi Baby. I haven't seen Maxi Baby, but um. Ortega just got that that glow right now. You know, he he reminds me of of uh, 
The Last Dragon. You remember when? Bruce, <laughs> Bruce Leroy? You know, you know when he got the he got the he got the glow at the end when yeah. he was able to beat Bruce Leroy. Yeah, that's what Ortega got walking around right now. He's at the war show. That motherfucker, he was glowing and shit. Yes. I'm like, damn. And I, and I heard his aura. Heard, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he was there. Like, that, yeah, good yo, his fucking like, aura. And then he, and then he, so and then relaxed. he. And then he did a speech, right? And then it was like a drop the mic speech, and everybody was like, "Oh my god, <laughs> yo, he killed it, right?" I love him. Yeah, yeah I'm dude. telling you, man, yo, he's got that, yo, his fucking aura right now is on point, man. So you're picking Ortega, man? You know, I, I, <coughs> go on. Am I gonna pick him? Shit, man, I don't know, man. Do, do we have to pick? No, you don't have to. You don't have to. Yeah, I ain't gonna pick, man. man. I'm not. I'm. I'm not gonna pick, Are you man. Participation trophy kind of guy. You better fucking pick someone. God damn. <laughs> nah, I, nah, I, I don't know, man. It's, I just, I just want to see a good fight, man. I just want to see a good fight, man. It, this one, this one is hard. This one is hard for me to call because I only seen one side of the equation. You know what I'm saying? I haven't seen, I haven't seen Max. And 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 when I pick a fight, I gotta be able to look. And kind of be able to get a glimpse of what they might psychologically be thinking, and then I'll know yeah. how. Yeah, I'll check his body language. Yeah, because because I I'll just be shooting. Yeah, I'll just be shooting shooting in the dark. You know, just talking shit if I if I can't make that assessment. And I got this asshole over here trying to push me. Yeah, <laughs> 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 like what are you talking on. about? Man? Come on, man. Are you kidding? I'm I'm the biggest Rashad fan. I just think it's fun. I hate picking people too because I I like the fighters and I don't want them to get mad at me if I don't pick them. You ever get mad at someone for not picking you? No, I don't get mad about it because I had to do it. But if I didn't, yeah, I had people come up to me and, and say stuff to me. Who said something to you? What do you mean you have to do it? You have to not get picked? <laughs> no, like like if I say something, or like you know, sometimes when I when I when I'm doing the show, I just I just say something freely and I just may joke around, and some people may not like it. And Anybody say to you, "Hey man, why are you say that about me?" Yeah, I can't remember who. I think a couple people have before. Yeah, oh. but I mean, it, it was all it was all cool. Was, was, was it was all tiring? Because cool. Woodley sometimes get. <laughs> I, don't, I don't fuck with Woodley. I I, I love Woodley. Why you and Woodley got beef? I, Woodley's a good friend of mine. Which I, I got just, beef. I just don't like. He just. He's like no Woodley. He's a little beef. not sensitive, but I just you know certain people I just know what to say that's gonna piss somebody off, so I don't say it. You know what I'm saying? Like. But wait, how come I don't get that shit? How come how come I don't how, wait? How come I don't get the how come I don't get the yo? Rashad is gonna Rashad might flip if I start yeah, talking shit. When have I ever said anything bad about you? Huh? I've never done anything bad. About man, you be oh, oh man, how many kids you got? You got eighteen. No. Man, how many mom you got? You like God damn, like you have no. Like, last time you know, you know what I'm saying? Like you God, like it's the kids. shit. Yo, the shit, the shit be the shit be hard, man. <laughs> Because I'm, because I'm trying to be like, ah, those are funny. Facts. huh? Those are facts. I don't got no kids. fucking eighteen kids, man. I, you have four. <laughs> yeah, I have okay. four. Okay, but I, you, but you be, you I'm be exaggerating. Hey, 18. you, yo, he, he be like this. <laughs> I like he be stabbing don't bleed, me. Motherfucker, don't bleed. And, I, and I'm and I'm like and I'm like yo, we, are, well, we, are great, we boys? Are we boys? Totally like, boys. You're a great I'm guy. like yo, is this what we doing right now? But then, but here's the thing. Yo, here's the thing about it, right? So Adam would talk shit. We on the show, right? But then when the cameras go off, then he's all like. His energy be fucked up. You be like, what's wrong? Yo, yo, listen. Yo, I swear to God. I, yeah, yeah. He started bugging out, man. I'm just like, dude. All right, okay. I know you don't have 18 kids. You have, you're, you're a great father Thank to you, four man. kids. Thank you. I and appreciate I, and it. And I totally respect that. But it's funny when I say 18. It's funny. Yeah, a lot of shit be funny, but it don't be right. <laughs> but, but, See, that's the thing about it. It look, don't be right. If you were white right. and had 18 kids, I'd say the same shit. Okay, I, I has nothing to do with you, you know being what, black. You know what, it's just, just 18 You kids, fucking lying. You know that's, that's, that's the ninth person of the day that tells him that. <laughs> okay, okay, Vince has been arrested. Vince has been arrested 27. Vince has been arrested 27 times. Okay. Oh, why are you saying because he's Hispanic? Why, why you gotta talk like that, bro? Why you gotta my business? That's, that's, why? Because you saying because he's Hispanic? No, how many times have you been arrested? About twenty seven. Oh right? man. Yeah, so man. okay. Now now when I said now now if I said to you you would rest twenty seven times, you go, Oh, cause I'm black? But I'm saying he rests. Nah, so that'd be that would be different. That'll be different now. Why? It's, because here, here here's the here's the, no 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 listen, 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 <laughs> no. listen. Listen, listen. Here's here here it is in a nutshell. So Adam knows black people. 
but he don't got no real close black friends, right? That's so some of the shit that he says, he thinks is okay because he knows black people. But some of the shit he says, like, I yo, have some good black friends. That's not true. But you have good, like you, like you fuck with, like on a daily basis. I don't fuck with anybody on a daily basis. I don't, I don't have that many friends in general. Uh, yeah, that's true. I, I, no, I. Well, you don't have any friends. No, I have you, friends. God damn, I, I, I have friends. That's, most that's of my, lonely as hell. Most of my friends is. No, this I know. My friend ain't in this world <laughs> in a few weeks, right? Gosh, no, man, that's I, I, lonely, I, I, man. I feel sorry for you, man. You, I had a lot of black people at my, at, my, at, my, at my wedding. You know, they didn't get me gifts. Hey, you was yo, 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 you they were, see, they were, they were, yo, see, that is not a black people okay approved joke. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker, yo, he's raw. Who was that, 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 that comedian that was at the show? Michael Blackson. He's, he's yeah, a friend Mike, of mine. Yeah, hey, he was hanging out with Michael Blackson. But yeah, yo, but listen, but he, he, yo, 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 but listen, yo, listen. Yeah, like, but listen, but when he when he uh, was with Michael Blackson, he switched it up and shit. I heard him. I'm like. Since when you start acting like that, <laughs> he switched it up to hang out with I his other like, friend. Yeah, happy yo, February. yo, 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 he he switched it up to be around Michael Black. So I was like, <laughs> yo, I'm like this motherfucker just switched it I was up like, real quick. We need Obama back in office. Yeah, <laughs> 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 this motherfucker switched it up quick. And I was looking at him like, is this the same cat? I'm just uh, like, wow. I was talking about my world star favorite thing. Yo, no, I was I was not doing favorite. those things. Yo, he Come fucking on. switched it up, man. I was like, this is some shit, man. I guess <laughs> no, I'm not. Black enough for you to switch no, you up with. Well, you're, 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 you're plenty of black. You're, 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 uh, fuck does that I even don't even mean? See, you said I'm not black enough. <laughs> <laughs> what he's saying is if you saw him walking, he wouldn't be like, is that not black? <laughs> no, of course not. I, 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 I don't know. know. What, what, no. I know what you mean, man. I'm yeah, just, yeah, I'm just no. busting your balls, man. Wow, 100. Uh, percent So what are we talking about? Uh, you picking Holly or Ortega? Ortega. Like I think, or I think Ortega is just. And I just really like Ortega. Like, I really like all the way, but this this is one of those fights. Okay, this is what I want to say earlier too, uh, because it's something you said. So like when there's like when my friends fight, I always remember my for my friends. You know what I mean? Right, like, right. Regardless of, of who they're fighting, like I can think that they're good to get their ass kicked, but I'm still rooting for my friends. You have to. Fuck. Yeah. So uh, when it, but when it's someone like Holloway and Ortega, like two good dudes who I like both of them, like I don't like I don't want to root for either one of you. You know what I mean? Like it kind of sucks because then I feel like. Did you ever bet on someone? Way. You ever bet on someone and then like they're your friend, but you bet against them? I can't. I hate doing that. I hate no, betting I'm, on I'm someone. Never, that I, never, I, just I can't bet, bet against a friend, that. even if I think they're gonna lose. I have had people bet against me, though. Friends bet against me. Really? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. How'd you find How out? Fuck is that, How'd you dude? find out? Just word around campfire, people talking about it. They like, for real? Yeah. Like, Damn, like, man. They told someone who they thought. I don't know. Was they right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I just laughed. That was funny. Because I said something to the person too. Damn. I'm not gonna mention the person, but I said something to the person too. I was like, "Damn, man!" I was like, "That sucks." This, this is how I said it too. I gave it to him. We're in the gym. Damn, man, that sucks. Oh, what's up, Vince? What's up? Like, that sucks. He said, "What sucks?" I was like, "Dude." He's like, "What?" I was like, "That 500 bucks, bro." He said, "What?" I was like, "That 500 bucks you bet against me, dude. That sucks that you lost that money, dude. You shouldn't have bet against me." He said, "What?" His face, dude, like. What? Uh, uh, uh. Damn. It's cool, dude. It's cool. Do you ever do that? You ever bet against someone that you like? Nah, I don't bet like that, man. Yeah. It was my Andrew Corny fight. Oh, I don't yeah. bet like that, man. That's tough, man. You can't bet against a friend. I know. I know. You ever bet on yourself? But you might go, nah, you might bet against your friend. I know. I, would, I can't do it. I can't do <laughs> it. Joking. It sucks. Especially when nah, I, 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 I know it, my friend's going to lose, too. That's when I'm like, fuck. Maybe I'll just give him some of the money. Uh, but the funniest was when CM Punk was fighting the first time. I actually hit up his, his coach, and I said uh, one of his coaches, not not Duke. And I go, how's it, I go, how's he gonna do? And the guy goes, not good. <laughs> I'm like fuck his, his own coach. His said own that? coach told me that. And I was like, okay. You know what though, man? I gotta give CM CM Punk his credit, man. He went out there and he fought. No, he he's a lot of a lot of balls to. Yeah, you know, you know that, you know that, on. yeah, you know that, you know what that takes. To go out there and just put yourself in that position. Oh my god, you know, I just found out. And what? my mic wasn't even on this whole time. No, Damn. yeah, it was. No, it wasn't. Really? Yeah, it's I just I just turned it on now. Oh, okay. I, I was looking over to see it and I saw like the two, and then I was like, oh shit, and then because I, I saw it not on the red dot. Oh shit. I'll listen back. It's Damn. Probably, it's, it's, probably, it's, it's probably loud enough. You guys, hopefully, you didn't lose all that gold I just bestowed upon you. But yeah, man, I, you know, I I think he um he went out there and he he laid it. He laid it on the line, but here's what I don't like. Here's what I don't like. I turned it on when you got here. Did you turn it off? No, I didn't touch it. I just picked it up. What was that? 
Nah, oh, fuck it, man. Y'all motherfuckers. Nah, here's what I was being. Nah, I, what I said. Here's what I don't like about the whole thing, is that. You know, you they put him in a position to be in a pay per view, and then when he go out there and fight the way that he's capable and expected to fight, then they want to ridicule him and talk shit about him. Who? Everybody. They didn't do that. No, but people people roasted him. I'm saying people yeah, roasted the people them, man. But they. But I'm saying like you, they. They, um, I don't know, man. No, just, no, kind of missing the point. Like, no matter it, what he does, like, there's always, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's never good enough. Kind of like. Yeah, it's, it's, I don't know, man. It's, it's a shallow sport. It's fucked up, man. It's it is fucked, fucked up. up. At the same time, he yeah. shouldn't have been there. They shouldn't have let that happen. And they yeah, gave him but. One shot. We, this, get a shot. We saw what happened. And then <laughs> they shot. go, that should have eh. been like, all right, you had your shot. <laughs> but, they, <laughs> but they give the guy a second shot and they go out and try to find a guy who's yeah. 0 1 for him to beat. And then, and then it's like, okay, we get it. Now it's all about the money. At first, it's like, all right, maybe it's about money, but at the same time, living the dream. The second shot was pretty dumb. <clears throat> In my in my <laughs> eyes, I, I understand that like it's about money, you know, and giving him a shot. Like it's a money thing, it's business. But to me that was honestly like a slap in the face. Yeah, of course. Like I work so fucking hard, you know what I mean? And to let someone like and giving him millions of and, dollars and all yeah. that other shit. Come on, man. You're out here you're an electrician well, fucking working. Well, not in really that. I mean he's he's built what he's built outside of it, you know what I mean? So you know what I mean that's So does that's Oprah. Him, if, they're not gonna let Oprah fucking fight. I mean you got there's gotta be a line. Come on. <laughs> It doesn't just because you have a lot of followers doesn't mean you're to you get the fucking cage and fight people. Well, it's 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 the draw, you know what I mean? Like ah, it's the draw. Like you draw put butts in the seats. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, this is stupid. Know, what are we talking about? But that's the business. <laughs> <laughs> that's the Fuck this business. Yeah, I know they have, they only sold it for four point oh, five billion dollars. They're really hurting. <laughs> if it was a lingerie football league, I'd be like, yeah, give them a fucking shot. But it's it, they're doing okay. Yeah. They don't need that CM Punk money. I don't that's think. That's true. I don't think. But, I, I totally know, agree. You know. Anyway, uh, but, Black Black but Beast Ngano. Mickey, Mickey Gall, good job. Good job. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, Black Beast Ngano. I'm, I'm picking Ngano. Oh, dude. Damn. I'm picking Ngano, too. You? Man, I can't Sean pick, man. I can't pick. I can't pick. Two black people, you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I just, I just... I'm picking them both. Nah, I, I, like, the I, like, I like them both, man. I like them both. And, and I don't... I don't know. I just... I just I like them both, and I don't. Uh... I like them both. I think Engano hits harder. I hate to say it, but I think he does. And I think that he, I've seen the, we've seen the Black Bee quit, quit before. Granted, yeah, he had to take a I, shit or something. Yeah, or whatever, I'm kind of judging him off. Like, like he quit against Mark Hunt when the going got tough. He quit. Well, I mean that the fight I straight witnessed that dude in the back eating a rack of ribs, dude, right before he walked out the fight. Get the fuck out of here. Why is it got to be ribs? Dude? Not even fucking kidding me, dude. Were they ribs for real? They were fucking ribs. Everyone, like, he was, like, in the corner. Was it Roscoe's? Like, or, or? I, don't know, I don't know where he got him from. Like, his, I think one of his coaches, one of his coaches or someone brought in a bag, like a white bag, and this motherfucker's in the corner, like, like he's in prison, hiding his shit and fucking eating fucking ribs. Now, what would you say to one of your fighters if they were eating ribs? Before their fight, <laughs> no, I'm, so I posted photos of it. No, no I'm serious. Photos. I'm asking you as a coach. I would, I wouldn't, I wouldn't let that shit happen. Who was it? Uh, uh, well, what, would, you, would you take him away? I mean, yeah, I, I, yeah, I would take, I would take the fucking ribs away. Elliot, Tim, Tim Elliot. <laughs> because would you, huh? would you eat them? <laughs> would you eat them? I don't eat ribs, man. All right, I'm just saying, but I would eat them. I like ribs. I, I don't, don't eat ribs. I don't eat ribs. Too. Man. But okay, so you would take away. So Anthony Johnson's in the back. Eating ribs, right? Yeah, I'll take him. You take him, absolutely. Do you don't let him eat his ribs? No, not before he's about to fight. <laughs> it's Anthony Johnson, dude. That guy's a monster. Like so was well, Rashad Evans. But listen, but listen, is that the, if if I'm coaching him, and he hired me to do a job, then my job is to oversee him and make sure that he's out there to the best of ability. I'm not gonna allow a weakness in mine to give him something that is only gonna hurt him. If he's mentally breaking down because he needs to eat some fucking ribs <laughs> right before he walks out, <laughs> right, what if he then he's already lost a okay. fucking fight. What if there was a hot chick? You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it just. <clears throat> what if there was a hot chick blowing him for real in the what? back before the fight? You walk in. <laughs> this and, shit is silly, man. No, what do you say? This shit is silly. Like, how the fuck is that gonna happen? <laughs> I wouldn't be. I, I, I just, I'll be like, I'm like, is this what we, is this what we doing now? Is this what I mean? <laughs> like, what, I, what would you do if you were? 
Well, like him eating a whole rack of ribs was, was like definitely like to me, no, like you don't do that shit. You know what I mean? If he's eating like one or something, God. like maybe one he's rib? like super starved. You know what I mean? He, How about let me get uh, one rib? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Like, what's that? You know what it is? I'm going to get you something. Yeah. <laughs> he, he quit. He lost. He quit, he he, lost. In the fourth he round, he, he had a, cr- a stomach cramp. Because like, he ate those fucking ribs. He yeah, said it was his back. He said it was his back. No, he said it was baby back ribs that he fucking, <laughs> that he ate. Before the, before the fight. <laughs> the well, you know what, though? Everybody in this corner need their fucking ass for letting him, watching him eat that then. It all depends. What if he practiced <laughs> yeah. every day when he ate ribs, he did great practice. And then when he didn't eat ribs, he did bad practice. Nah, that's <laughs> true. Hey, that's yeah. true. That's true. That's what true. What if that's his vice, bro? What if that's <laughs> his vice? <laughs> that's true, man. You know what? I, I guess everybody's I'm different. Gonna, I'm going to tell you something. you know who Paul Bradley is? Yes. Yeah, of course. I've seen Paul fucking Bradley go to the gas station in Chula Vista when I used to train at Alliance, get like two double and triple cheeseburgers, just greasy and nasty as fuck, and mow those things down, and then go wrestle his fucking balls off, dude. Paul Bradley? Yeah, in training at Alliance. Oh, he was an Iowa wrestler? Like a monster, yeah. yeah. And, like, and he had the, and no, it won't bother him. Even phase him he got like a good, got a gut like a goat. He'd be shitting grease. He'd be out there shitting grease. God damn, eating fucking tires and oh, shit. Yeah. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, yeah, eating dude, leather that straps. Dude, that dude's a, I'm like, you're a fucking monster. Bro. You know what, man? Um, Fucking more power to him. You know what? Just right there on the box. Yeah, let me, let, me ta- let, me take my, let me take my statement back. I guess if eating baby back ribs it was his thing <laughs> and he did great doing it, then I, 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 I commend him for it. But he didn't win that fucking fight, so yeah. he, didn't. he couldn't eat no ribs around me no more. Dinner. Right. That's a good point. That's a yeah. good point. Uh, now, yeah, Mike, what's his name? Mike, uh, Mike Perry. Is taking oh, is taking uh, on uh, shit. Paul Fixed Felder. Point. Yeah, Felder. Paul Felder against Mike Perry. Mike Perry, by the way, how do you Big feel Felder. about him saying the N word all the time? Oh man, I think it's not. Yeah, good. that guy. He well, he must have. Good. He must have. Because you know what hurts. I don't you think know, he you know hurtful. I think he people. like slammed it or something. Anytime he does something that you know hurts people, he's creating more issues. Dude, like, dropping that he, shit. Is is just like if, why you know it hurts people. You know that no one's really gonna get behind you except for people that. <laughs> <laughs> Why say it? You I know? mean, like trying to be funny, doing it once is like one thing, but like constantly now he's making like, like taking it too far is like yeah. I mean, like you know, I, I'm not I'm not aware of his level of saying it. Like how, how is he saying it? Like on Twitter, he's like, trying to trick you into saying it. Yeah, I know. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm trying <laughs> to understand. Wait, 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 no, I'm not. Get set up for a beatdown no, over here, dude. Listen, listen. No, I'm. I'm no, he he put like a well. The one that I saw was he posted like he did uh, ancestry.com ancestry or something. Whatever it tells you your your heritage. And he goes, look, I'm, I'm two uh, percent or whatever the percentage was, uh, African American, so I could say the word, bam, and then he throws it in there. But he says it with an A, you know, the A at the end instead of the ER. So, so wait, this is a, so this is a, this is a thing, right? No, he no, he threw the hard R out. So wait, no, it was an A. Oh, so wait, yeah. So wait, okay, he just he just be he I just be. I thought I saw some hard R's being thrown out there and every <laughs> and then. Huh? I thought oh, you I thought, saw the hard R. Oh, that, that's just what you heard because you're racist. I heard. <laughs> I heard an A. So, so he's he's saying it like, uh, what's up, what's up, man? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like what? Yeah, right. He, that's what, what, that's what who he's was saying. the tweet? He, he well, do you, tweeted do you, someone too. You know, was it what? He tweeted to someone too. Who Something. Was it? Was yeah. It, was, it, was, it, was it Woodley? I don't know, but people got mad. Angelo Lee, like, uh, yeah, said it to Woodley also. Angelo Lee got upset and like put a picture of Rachel Dolezal up there, uh, <laughs> and, and like it was the whole thing. I don't know. I just think that guy's. Asking for trouble, but he's a great, he's a good fighter. You, I mean, you got to break down. Listen, listen, I, I, I totally against, I totally get the offensive nature. Uh, I just, you know, but, but if you look at the word and where it's where it come from, you know, where 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 it originated from, and it come from Negus. Negus is in Ethiopia. He was a king, and that's you where the, the word. So you're no, that's where that's what the name comes from, Negus. Oh. Yeah, that's... And just like, it's been Americanized into what it is. Well, it's because they took the slaves over over there, and then they just called them niggers. Hmm. Okay. I had no idea that. So that's where... But the word is not... Uh, it's not a originally offensive word. It just got made offensive because by the it? oppressors. 
No, it, it's it's just understanding the the word. If if you look up even Naga, Naga's a serpent. Yeah. Naga's a half 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 person, half serpent. Hmm. That's what a Naga is. A lot of our, our a lot of our our uh, symbolism, yeah, yeah, like dead, right. All like like, like a lot of our dead. symbolism in in um like with the uh, the medical sign. Right. You know, that's a serpent. That's a Naga. Yeah, so that's that's what the dragon now, is a, is a naga serpent. Now, that's what, what it is. That, like, although I do think that sometimes, not to defend people, right? But like there was a a group of girls, like a, like a lacrosse team, and they were singing that song that what that little Dicky did with Chris Brown. You know where they switch people and they have uh, you know that song they made. I don't even know what song. He's like, I woke up as Chris Brown. It's this whole song where little Dicky wakes up as Chris. What the fuck you be? What did you? What, you what, no, you what the hell you be? Huge about? song. It was like I never heard of shit. Oh, man. who sings it? it was a little Dicky. The white. What rapper. kind of radio you listen to? Okay, no, it's it was Some a big shit, song. Dude. No, it's a really funny thing. So in the God, song damn, they say the N word like six times, but it's Chris. It's really little Dicky wondering if he could say the N word as Chris Brown. And then says it. And then, oh, he's dressed up as Chris Brown. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Is Chris Brown in the in the video? Yeah, yeah. Chris Brown's all part of it. So all these girls were singing to like. So that now, part, so right? so that was like. Yeah, this one, this first one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure. And so now is it like saying like it's okay for well, everyone to, to say song, it? Is right? that what so the, the point of the video? So all these girls were singing it, right? And then somebody hated <laughs> yeah. the girls saying it, and then got all everyone got all mad. So basically, it's called Freaky Friday. You never heard of Freaky Friday? It was like, you know, it's got only 327 million views. You know, so, uh, so anyway, so all these girls were singing along to it, white girls. Someone recorded them singing it, and then they got big trouble, kicked out of the school, or like, you know, something happened. They had to apologize, went on the news. And, Get out of here. And I feel like in some ways, it's kind of like, I, I, it was part of the song, you know? Like, is it okay for white people to, to say it part of the song, or do you have to, like, stop with that? comes up and then there's like a weird pause <laughs> like if you're going to somebody I'll okay um, on behalf of all black people okay, <laughs> so can we give him the microphone give the microphone oh, yeah, no one heard shit either off that oh, go on. I mean, Damn. Like, you have Rashad who, you know, who graduated college but not most MMA fighters graduated college a lot of them don't know anything but fighting there's just no intelligence whatsoever not to down nobody I'm just saying some people just know violence and fighting that's what makes them good at the sport right you have a few like Rashad that you no know, actually went to college, you no know, studied curriculums and graduated. But regardless, you can't be so stuck inside your MMA bubble that you can't feel the racial tension that's going on in the outside world. I mean, right. it's mm -hmm. sad to say, but this country has been divided for whatever reason since this election. It's been divided. It was before that though, too. Yeah, but but not like it is now. Yeah. I mean, is right now. I live in a city to where there was no color. Now. I can be on my way into a store and a white guy be in front of me, he won't even hold the door no more. Versus, you no, know, he used to do that. I mean, it's almost like, mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's, it's like, it's no secret. You watch CNN, we're fighting. I mean, you see all the police shootings and people kneeling at football games. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot going on. Right. So, versus before when a gentleman like yourself was a comedian, was able to come to the party and get all five or six black jokes, you might have to go down to just one black joke for interview now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, two or three into a whole yeah, 10 yeah, minutes yeah. on it. Things can just get too yeah, testy. Yeah, yeah. And even you can yeah, use, even yeah. you can lose viewers and sponsorships, which yeah. you don't want to do. Of course. Like Rosie, not Rosie O'Donnell, Rosie Roseanne Barr. Yeah, Roseanne. That's, 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 I mean, that's right, a whole You, you got to be careful nowadays. With yeah, yeah. That. I mean, it's, it's just too much racial tension going on. Right. Period. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, you got your black friends, some, I got my white friends, but versus a whole, no, you cannot go somewhere and sing a song that had the word in it and say it as a white person. You just can't because it's just too testy out there. Just yeah, you testing. never, you never, you had a shit. Know, seven years ago, you might could have got it off. It wasn't a problem. But now that, you know, so many people feel like they, you know, so many injustices is going on. Like white kids are shooting up theaters, getting arrested alive, and white dudes just getting killed because they're unarmed. This ain't the time to tell a bunch of black jokes. You know what I'm saying? It's not a time to sing songs and say the N word. Yeah. Yeah, let it cool down. Period. Of course, of course. Yeah. I mean, yeah. if that's the thing that you want to do, you just got to put it on pause for now. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Right. Nah. That's all. What do you think? you think? Well, no, but I think little Dicky was singing it as, <laughs> as a white person. But I think people were singing when he was singing, he was really black. <laughs> people were singing along to the song. No, Wait. and and I and I understand why they would think it was okay. At the same time, I I totally hear you. Right. Well, I, I I totally hear you what you're saying. Right. I do think that 
you know, comedy is one of those things where you, you should be able to make fun of everybody, and 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 as, as long as it I'm comes, as long as it comes from a place of love, you know, you. and and I think that like, you know, coming from a place of love is different than coming from like, oh, you're a horrible person because you're this race and I'm going to make jokes about you. So I think it, it really is all in, nah, but you know, it, but it's all it's still, but it's still, but it's still, it's still like all kind of context. But, it, but, it's, but it's, yeah. it's still, it's still the perception because now we live in a time also where you're, you're, once you're accused, you're convicted at the same time. So yeah. all you have to do is just be accused or being perceived being the way yeah. you're telling your jokes then automatically that's who you are. Yeah. That's who you become. Yeah. And and, and 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 so you have to be careful, you know what I'm saying? You can't that is, is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, no, I totally I totally I hear you and I, but I do think that there's also that well I can't be living fear of being accused of something or someone taking something out of the context because if I live that way then it's like then I'm letting them win. You don't. You don't got to live in fear, but there's a, there's a difference between living in fear and being aware. Oh yeah, being aware. If yeah. if if I get if I get in my car, I know I can. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm aware. I'm not fearful. I know what can happen. I'm just aware of what can happen. You know, right. there's no fear. I'm not gripping the wheel. Like, oh shit, I can get fucking blindsided any minute. It's just awareness. So so you have to so you have to understand like. Every situation is not going to present itself the same way, so you have to be able to, you know, what I'm saying touch touch the temperature of the water. But like, okay, I can maybe yeah. get away with a few here. You know what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Of course, of course. But versus other places, if you just go like, hey, I'm just going to throw it out there. Of course, you can't just go and put your pull your dick out everywhere you go, man. People yeah. ain't going to accept it. Some parties like it, some parties don't. Uh, cool. <laughs> it's, yeah, like, it's like, it's like, like hold my on loosely. <laughs> My, my my dick's been <laughs> it's been out at parties. Yeah. <laughs> Pulling it all out. Not anybody complains. Um, no, but I I totally I totally hear you. What were we talking about? We're talking about little dicky. I don't know. You no, yeah. guys want coffee or anything? No, we're talking yeah. about the guy that has got the ancestry dot com and oh yeah oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Mike yeah, Mike yeah. Perry sent an N word. Yeah, that's stupid. I I don't, I don't I don't see where he's going with. I don't see where he's going with the shit because it, it. I mean, I don't know, man. Do you guys want coffee or anything? Uh, we had some because yeah, you were. Happy. But you know what though, it it it, it does it does speak to, that does speak to a demographic though. You see what I'm saying? You got to understand. There's a lot of white kids like him, oh, to, who want to walk around and say it. So for them, he's he's speaking right. He's speaking their language. You know what I'm saying? So there's a lot of the people. I mean, like, you can't you can't say that you don't see the reason for it. You know what I'm saying? It's it, it's. There's, there does seem to be a lot of people There's, that get behind yeah. a white guy with tattoos all over his face. But who hasn't, who hasn't told him to stop? Because it's a business. Well, so I'm not now, telling him to so stop. So now they got to find an opponent <laughs> to shut him up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, that, that works in the UFC. It works for the UFC. Right. You don't like him saying, okay, he's going to fight you now. <laughs> shut him up. So now when you do what you do to him, the kids that follow him, uh, say yeah. that now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's true. It's, it's deep, man. Even, like, it's true. But back to the comedian right thing. Yes, <laughs> I, I've, I've been to black comedy shows with black comedians. Well, I get dogs, people, you know, we laugh. So I've been to white comedy shows the other way around. So I do give. You no, know, when you're on stage, you know, doing a comedy show, that that's kind of different because it goes both ways. It's just comedy. Yeah. But you know, if we had a barbecue, you know, most family and friends, you don't have to do stand up here. You know what I'm saying? Not on me. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I, I shouldn't be the focus of. I shouldn't be the butt of every black joke you have. I don't have that many. I, 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 I have like two. No, not you. Yeah, <laughs> I'm saying like I've been around. Like, I got white friends There's that get real comfortable around me, but they don't understand that. You know, depending on where we at, you can't do. Oh yeah. What you do? You got to be a, you. aware of your surroundings. Right. Yeah, 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 one hundred percent. Yeah, not you. What do you? What are you guys doing? Inappropriate, right? What are you guys doing? What's going on? It's cold like a motherfucker out here, man. I'm in oh. a, it's cold, man. Oh, okay. We're trying to get no meat on those bones, okay? He's not in training skinny, camp anymore. Man. He's a retired man. Yes. yes. Skinny. You are skinny. I'm skinny. What do you weigh now? You're 35? <laughs> nah, I'm uh, 2, 213. You're 213? Mm -hmm. Man. So you only got 13 pounds on me. You're 200 pounds? <laughs> and you fight at 55? I'm 196 right now. 196? Wow. Okay, so you're showing up Mike Perry's tweet. About couple, I showed him a couple. Damn. There's more than one. Right. Oh, yeah, he, 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 uh, <laughs> wow. 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 Yeah, no bueno. This is a this is a strange world we live in in the oh, days. Oh, here's a one. What did oh, Willie say? What did Willie say about it? I don't think he responded. Willie doesn't respond. 
But Colby wants to fight him. Colby hates him. Colby hates Mike Perry? Yeah, yeah, they hate him. You know each other. why? Why? It's because they're kind of like each other. Uh, you think so? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. They kind of, damn, man. They trying to, they, they kind of. They're like, there could only be one. <laughs> <laughs> damn. They just want to have a retard off. <laughs> so, what else? What do you got coming up, man? Man, that's about it, man. I'm uh, nothing. How long are you in Vegas for? To to Sunday. Are you going to the fights? Yeah. You got tickets? Barely. I couldn't get tickets. You couldn't get tickets? Either? No. Yeah, it's man. I got barely, now. barely got tickets. How do you barely, how do you barely? Are you going to the fights? I don't know. I don't. I don't get tickets. How do you? How do you barely get tickets? <laughs> they just uh, they didn't have any more tickets. It's a, yeah, it's a big they're event. like, <laughs> they're like uh, you're retired. Um, mm, I don't care about you anymore. We uh, you know for us? ooh, <laughs> ra, ra, who? Ra, we're retired. <laughs> <laughs> Your name is ra, what? Yeah. Ra, Rashad. Evans, mm, never oh, heard of you. Um, yeah. We have a whole new staff now. See, since you retired. Yeah. Are you gonna? I mean, is that something that you're gonna? I mean, obviously, the fans. Damn, are gonna man, love you. that's all right, man. Everyone's gonna love you, but are you gonna miss like being so adored where you can't walk into a restaurant and stuff like that? Nah, you know, um, I take it in stride. Like, I'm not one of those people who'd be like, "Oh man, I can't be bothered," and I, I don't get like too, I don't get too out of out of temperature trying to you know address it you know i just take pictures and i and i understand it's a person's experience enough where they think it's special enough to take a picture so i make it special for them you know so i don't i never i never i always take it like it's just a moment of time and one day it's gonna pass and it's one one day it will pass and i'm okay with it when it does you know i it was fun you know, I experienced it. Yeah, right. but I think a lot of fighters they they don't retire because they miss being the star. Yeah, they miss the walkout. They miss feeling like important. Obviously, like everyone miss that comes scared. up to you says, "When's your next fight? When's your next fight?" Right, so they identify completely as a fighter. Right, and then they that they have to fight again, and then that's when they get brain damage or something. So, is that something that like you're gonna are you gonna be okay with that? Yeah, I'm gonna be okay with it. Uh, you know, is is just what. It's not so much like, um, like for me, it wasn't so much about all the the outside things of people thinking me one way or people pump like, you know, riding me and pumping my tires and you know all kinds of stuff like that. That was never that was never it for me. Like for me, it was like what each fight brought out, like the training camp around it, the dedication that went into it, the mindset that I had to go to, you know, put myself to push myself to limits that I didn't think I can go to. That's what that's what it come that's what I liked about it. And then when it gets so down to the last yeah, like when it gets to the last week, the final battle, which is not even the final battle against your opponent, is with yourself. And then that's when you sit there and you gotta face, you know, everything that you have going on and everything that you and every single doubt that you ever had. And it's right there, the toughest fight of your life right in front of you that's what i'm gonna miss because this shit don't get realer than that when you gotta look in the mirror and you got somebody standing in front of you that you know is trying to separate you from consciousness and you're trying to fight those thoughts off man it doesn't sound exciting at all there's no huh? <laughs> that sounds horrible sounds super <laughs> no but it's no, it but that's amazing, but, but that's, that's that, 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 that no that but that's so what scary to me though it's wow. scary it's scary as fuck but that's 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 what you miss that's what you become addicted to. You become addicted to riding it out and, and never knowing how it's gonna go. But then somehow, some way, you defeated the biggest part. You defeated that that monster in yourself, and you became, you know, and you've done, and yeah. you and you were living like living high as fuck, you know. And you didn't take not one sip of alcohol, not no hit of nothing. And it was just, it's all real. It's real as fuck. It's the one as real as feelings in the world. And you can't, can't really get it anywhere. Else. That's how I got, that's, that's what I get from stand-up comedy. That's what I used to get from wrestling in high school and college. But comedy the same way. It's the big, biggest high ever. Yeah, Especially you get you do the high. Well. Or <laughs> when you're bombing, it's probably the biggest low ever. <laughs> but, uh, I yeah. Honestly, you, like, I can't, like, 
I give you guys more credit than like I would give a fighter you're out of your mind. for like taking a loss because oh, like, yeah. you guys are upstairs getting your fucking ass kicked. You sit there and you're just getting your ass kicked. Like you know what I mean? Like you guys have you like you're face to face with every motherfucker in there. When we're in there, I'm not worried about everyone in there watching. I'm just. I'm just worried about this guy fucking knocking the shit out of you now. You know I'll what I mean? Like, the the, the best thing about this. being married for stand-up comedy is the worst is when you bring a date there and you don't want to impress her and then you bomb. Wait, what? Like, <laughs> like, 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 like when I used to bring dates to comedy shows and, yeah. then, and I'd have fucking terrible sets in front of oh them God. and you're like, not only am I bombing on stage, <laughs> I'm now not going to get laid after this, girl, this girl's going to break like, I've, I've now bombed twice. So like, the thing about being married, I don't have to worry about that because that's when so, I used to have the extra pressure of like knowing that I'm either gonna get pussy or not, like after like and like, or I like this person and or not. Yeah, just not. Oh uh, yeah, that, so that's so it's a lot easier. That's the thing that I like about being married is that, just also the um, the thing about you know when you're trying to get laid, like just giving the woman so much power as far as like. You know, like I don't know, just laughing at the dumb jokes, or, or, just, or just like yeah. he said the dumb jokes. Or just honestly, saying certain things. Honestly, like, I, kinda, I kinda hate that stupid game, too, little cat and mouse game. Sometimes. I hate that game. I, I used to, well, also, but also, you're talking to someone and they, and they think like, oh, you're they think that you're trying to have sex with them, and sometimes maybe you are, but <laughs> so but when you're married, that, that, that completely goes away. And, and to me, that's so much. It's things can be so much more real because there's, there's no tension or. You know, backdooring, whatever it is, you know. So, do you, do you understand what I'm saying, Rashad? Yeah, I understand. Do you, you know do, I do, did you ever bring a date to a fight and it didn't go well, and then like you, uh, it was rough afterwards? I mean, nah. It normally works the other way around for fighting because usually when you get your ass kicked, they're like, "Oh my god!" Then they're more yeah. sympathetic towards you. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, yeah. And you get a pity blowy. Yeah, you, get, you, you got pity blowies. <laughs> then they then they love you a little more. Did it, in like Utica, did you get a pity blowy or oh, no? That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, but then, the, now, the, what about the victory sex? That must be good. Yeah. Or is it, is it, is it higher being after the win? Or is 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 different energy? You know what I'm saying? Because like when like when it's like you win, it's like oh shit, I got to You know, it's like a more hyped up energy. You know. But when it's when you lose, it's kind of like, oh my god, baby, like pillow talk sex, you know. But you must have had three something. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 Here it comes, it's coming back. No. <laughs> no, but when you knocked out Chuck, right? I mean, huh? was it, when you knocked out Chuck, was it just like? No, how many not even. Just, no, was it like that, like no, Tupac movie no. where it's chicks are naked everywhere. No, I was married at the time. Uh, oh, she had the mood to say, yeah. Oh, oh. so hmm. yeah, she was in the audience. Uh, so she must have been happy for you. Yeah, yeah. Huh? She must have been like. She must have yeah, yeah. I mean, it was it was it was a, it was a good thing. No, are, are like your kids? Was it nine <laughs> months after that? Every I like, fight. I like his body language right now because I could tell that he's like having flashbacks. Yeah, I was like, I'm <laughs> thinking, I'm thinking about it, man. I'm thinking so like about after it, each man. one of your, each one after each one of your wins, was that like nine months after? Was that when your kids were born? <laughs> <laughs> nine months after every win. Yeah, yeah, man. It, it was a. Uh, it was a good time, and I, I think I think about the whole, the whole sport and everything, and and uh, the beginning of it. Man, I would have never thought I'll be here right now. And at UFC at two, or, oh. you see, no, nah, well, I mean, definitely didn't think I'll fucking be here. <laughs> 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 I just think I'll be, yeah. <laughs> I just think I'll be here, man, at UFC two twenty six, <laughs> and just you know. Still, still on his ride. It's, it's been amazing. Now, when you dated that Brazilian chick, right? Was she upset when you beat up other Brazilians? No, man. She was cool with it. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, she wasn't like, "Don't beat up my cousin." Or <laughs> no, no. I think, you know, I feel, I feel like, God, like, like, like this. Mother, like, I think, <laughs> I think, unless you're Colby Covington, if you like beat up, like, let's say you go to Brazil and you beat a Brazilian. Yeah. Most of the time, like, they give you respect, wouldn't they? Don't they? Yeah, it's, it's not well, like, like that, man. Like yeah, it's, of that. course, I'm just fucking. This I, is, of course. So all right, so yeah. stand up comedy. Are you are you, are you, are you doing it to Friday night? You want to be on the show? Me, you, Woodley, and Bonner. Do it, do no, it. I can't. Do do it. It. I'm, not, I'm not a comedian. Do you have five minutes? <sighs> I don't know. That's a, five minutes is a fucking long time. It, it, long time. It, it, it's I don't even know if, if I have. Talk really, really slow. If you talk, yeah, it's take water really, come between on, sentences. You can murder up there, bro. Listen. listen nah, I can't. Funny. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, good man. stories. People uh, and you like making people laugh. I mean, you, last night you told me that story about, about those that those gay homeless guys. That, that oh, in Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah. Was that a gay? Attacked by gay homeless guys. 
Yeah, we were at, um, it was me and my uh, coach after a uh, day of training. We like, you know what, let's get to the park. The weather just broke. We can go sit and just chill, you know. Uh, I call myself, you know, trying to be zen and, and meditate outside. And we walk up and there's these, uh, uh, a group, a, a, a gang, <laughs> a gang of of gay bums. How'd you know they're gay bums? They have like a flag. Well, because I'm gonna tell you. Or is so, that like the little camp. They, like huh? the they just, you know, well, you know, a bum when you see a bum. Shit, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I don't know how you know they're. They gay had rainbow bums. carpet. Well, because, well, office. because I knew there were bums. I said, so I'm like, okay, there's some bums, but then I noticed they were not just like regular bums I've seen everywhere else. They were, they were gay bums. And I wonder how you how I wonder now because they they what, like what they vary you, okay what, what, they what varied, did you see in your head that was like oh he's gay yeah because they varied in their in their uh an expression of the gayness you know they oh, <laughs> like, like, like super flam, flam yeah yeah, yeah was super like flam boy and then it was like the man one one okay. was like one was like spinning around doing like oh my like doing all of that mm. theatrics and stuff you know okay, okay. so being like, being yeah. extra yeah being extra. <laughs> So I'm like, oh, yeah, and I'm just watching this. I'm just like, no, I'm like, wow. Now, um, at, like, I'm in culture shock. I'm just like, what's happening here? So as we walk up, they get really quiet and start whispering amongst themselves, right? Like, you know, like, like, white, black, huh? They was, they're they're black. Chair. They're black. They're all black. They're all black. Oh, and okay. then. Licking their lips at you, aren't they? they? They were talking, right? So then they start sniggling and giggling. <laughs> And then they couldn't, they couldn't contain it. They couldn't contain it. And then one, like the alpha male of the whole group, yeah. spoke out, right? He's sitting on the back of the bench, and he had no front teeth, right? And he, like, gets on the back of the bench, and he started thrusting his hips out. <laughs> and he said, yeah, he, and, and then he started thrusting his hips out, and he's like, I want some ass. <laughs> and he started sticking his tongue through his lip. And I was just like, what? Did you join the gang? Huh? <laughs> Did you the gang? Hey, hey, <laughs> hey. I looked at my coach, me and my coach. I was like, man, normally I would, you know, I would, I would have, you know, I was, I would have addressed it, but I was like, you know no, what, man, yeah. it's not worth it. So we just, we, we turned, we was like, oh, hell no. We turned and walked out, oh, man. Come on, that's worth it. But then the cop warned huh? you. Huh? Then the cop warned you, right? Yeah, yeah. So, uh. Oh, were they like going to attack you guys? No, nah, so this park, this park, Piedmont Park is, um, oh. is famous for, for like, like guys go there, heterosexual guys go there. And it's in, in the gay part of Atlanta. And they go there. And they wear trench coats, and they're naked underneath. Now they are flash another man, and then well, the other man. Running. Then he'll run away, but the man he flash, he then he'll chase him, and then they run through the park and wrestle and shit. And then they have. What the fuck? they have? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is not. I swear to God, yo! I swear to yo! I swear to God, this happened at the park, man. The cop told me, and I was like, "What?" And he's like, "Yeah, man, that shit happens. They have sting operations. It's so bad they have to have sting operations wow. at the park." That's crazy. Because he, because, because he said, because naked wrestling in the park. Yeah. It's yeah, yeah American but, bottom but, team. but yo, yo, <laughs> they've they've caught they've caught like, like prominent people. In that park doing that stuff, man. Oh shit! Yeah, so you it's not, to, yo, it's not, so it's not like you just have it, a trench coat on, and like you're not there for that. Yeah, what, then, I don't know, man. Coat? Listen, I don't know, but it, listen, instantly? they said they said do not go to Piedmont Park after dark, man. <laughs> and you went there, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it was it was a culture shock, man. It was a culture shock, and then um, I was uh, I I, I don't know. It was, it must have been the area we was at, man, because I one day I go to the hotel. It was me and Rampage, and I and I was teasing them. I'm like, "Hey, y'all don't want to stop at Bulldogs for a drink?" Now the Bulldogs is it, it was a, it was a gay bar down the street, so <laughs> I was just joking around with them. The Rampage, like, oh man, get out of here with that shit. So. Um, <laughs> So I'm walking. So we, so we just like laughing. Yeah, like yeah. He's not a he's not home for. You just don't want to go to. You don't, don't want to go to Bulldogs. He, he Come on. Like one of those guys, yeah, right? he's like he ain't gonna go there. So I was just giving him a hard time. And then um, and then as I was walking in, this guy on a bench, he comes up to me. He's like, "Hey, do you do you have money so I can get something to eat?" And I was like, "Yeah, 
I'm, you know, I'm trying to be a better person. So I'm like, you know what? Let me, let me give him something. And I only had $20. And I'm like, damn. And I was like, you know what? He probably needed more than I do. So then I gave it to him. And then he took it. And then he looked at the $20 and looked at me. He was like, can I go upstairs? And I was like, <laughs> what? What did he want to do upstairs? I thought, like, I think because hooking, dude. I think because yeah, he was out there hooking. Yeah. But he, he was. Did they ask you to go with him, or he just wanted to go up with him? He wanted to go up. God damn, man! I'm just, I'm trying to. Do find I, out. Do I gotta spell it for you? Okay. Fine. Like what the fuck? He wanted you, to go just, he, he fucking ruined the joke, man. No, like he he, he ruins. He, it's not even. It's not. But but you know what? Though it's not. Even, it's not even a joke. This shit happened. This shit happened. But it, it, listen. So I gave him twenty dollars. Right. No one gives anybody twenty dollars for for something to eat. It was nice of you. It was nice of me, but I'm thinking it was nice of me too. But he took it as thought as like I was giving him a proposition. Yeah, like he wanted. So to like you or I'm giving him yeah, 20. twenty. Yeah, I'm giving him twenty. Then he said, "Can I come upstairs?" And I was just like, yeah. And I was threw back by it, man. But then I started thinking. I'm like, man, what did I do wrong in that equation? And I'm just like, shit. I gave him twenty dollars, man. I gave him twenty dollars, man. Now I gotta bring him upstairs. Yeah, <laughs> and I feel bad. I gotta spell it out to this no, motherfucker. No, when you, Why? When you, when you were, <laughs> I gotta spell right. it out to him. I'm like, God damn. No, no. What, what's that guy's address? No. Um, <laughs> now, when, when, you, when you were in, when you were in jail, did any gangs approach you to join them or anything? No, I only had one issue being in jail, and it was when I was in juvenile hall, and uh, it was someone trying to take my food. It was like the first day I was there. I remember I was all I was fucked up too because I was like I was doing drugs at the time, so I was doing uh, like glass, like speed meth or crystal meth, whatever. And then I was doing pills too, so I was like all fucked up. And I don't know what happened, but I just, I just woke up and I was a juvenile hall, and we're eating food. Damn. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was it was pretty fucked yeah, up. Yeah, that shit was like I'm gonna try to act like I'm like what the fuck? Yeah, I, I just I, I never, I never <laughs> woken up a juvenile hall. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, that's all I can really say. I just woke up and I was a juvenile hall. Damn. Did you have twenty dollars? How old, how old were you, you upstairs? I think it was like sixteen, fifteen, sixteen. He was like the town bad kid. Yeah, yeah. dude. I was I was a like And War Machine lived in that town too. <coughs> yeah. So if he was the town bad kid. I got I got into drugs War super, super young. Kid. Wait, so you and War Machine was in the same town together? Yeah. Actually like our groups of friends used to like fight with each other. <laughs> so you guys weren't friends? Nah. That dude in that dude in high school was like fucking juice, bro. Like he was like two twenty, two thirty, like jacked, like juice, like roided. I was fucking mine, like just out of his fucking mind. Was he crazy? Yeah, he was always nuts. That dude was always like that. Damn, that's he crazy. He was always nuts. So that's a ta- so that's food? a town where you from? So dude, yeah, try taking same, food. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I wake. We're sitting there, we're eating, and then uh, one dude asked me for one dude asked me for something. It was like my roll or something, and I was like, no. I was like, I want that. And he's like, well, let me have this. And I was like, no. I was like, can't my food, dude. I was like. This is my first time in jail, so I was like, it was so funny. I thought I was like so smart. I was like, I've seen like movies, like I know how shit works in here. I was like, you're not gonna take my shit and think I'm your bitch or something. Like, fuck yourself, this is my food. <laughs> so the guy went to like reach and grab it, and I fucking like smacked his hand out of the way. And then I was like, dude, stop trying to grab my food, bro. Like, I'm not fucking serious. Or I'm not kidding, I'm gonna fuck you up, dude. He said, you ain't gonna do shit, bitch. It was like a big ass Mexican, dude. So I was like, fuck, dude, I'm gonna fight this guy. And then he reaches again, I smacked it. I was like, dude, I was like, don't, I was like, one more time, dude, that's it. Like, you're not taking my shit. I was like, you're not taking my shit, bro. So he reaches again, and I grabbed his hand. I grabbed his hand, like, push it down, and I just fucking back out him, like, straight in the face. And then he fell off the chair, and his nose was, like, bleeding. Did you know how to fight then? Yeah. Like, I, well, I was just a scrappy kid, you know? And I've always been, a, like, pretty scrappy kid. And uh, so I didn't hit him after that. Like, he fell, and then, like, I just I stood up, was, like, ready to fight, you know what I mean? But I wasn't, mm-hmm. like, attacking him. And then... I hear the the guards are like, "Oh, see, take it down, take it down," and I was like, "What?" I turn and look, and I, I didn't know what the fuck they were saying, and I just got sprayed in the fucking face. So wow! Really, like gnarly. Did you land more punches on him or Gillespie? <clears throat> Gillespie. <laughs> nice. Now, where, where did your friend go? Did he did he get? I don't know, man. I, don't I feel know. like the Black yeah, Lives Matter gonna show up. Uh, I feel like the BLM gonna show up and like <laughs> they take me down or something. Did he, did he leave? And, <laughs> <laughs> Why? He, he, you can't laugh at this shit and then get mad at me. You have to. You, that's, that's your problem. See, see, you laugh at the jokes and then I go like, oh, he likes the jokes and then I make more jokes. You're like, no, you are fucked up, man. <laughs> like, you can't fucking joke like you, that, you can't, bro. Yeah, and then serious. I'm like, well, then why you can't do that? You can't fucking be like, aha. And then I'm like, oh. Yo, yo, but listen, yo, but some shit be funny, man. Some shit is some shit is funny, but some shit is 
just too far. Like you gotta know when. Like it's just it's a you need a black friend, man. I have like, black friends. I, who's Bubba, who's black friend? Yo, Papa Jenkins, my friend. Uh, but how? But you, how often do you fuck with Bubba Jenkins? Jenkins, though. Uh, well, well, he, he's always late, so <laughs> he never really shows up. I'm always late. Too. <laughs> he's always <laughs> late. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then I have another black. Yeah, yeah. I, I, have, like, I have about like I, I say eight or nine. Like I would say, really good black friends. But you never grew no, up. No, maybe more than that. Good. No, no, but but like, but like growing up, you never knew any black people. Oh, I, I went to boarding school, and a lot of the kids were black. For real? Yeah, because oh, they shit. got uh, they were on basketball scholarships, and uh, <laughs> that, that's actually that's actually true. I, I, I said, they were from the boys' yeah, club. Yeah, damn man. They were. I swear, my this friend. Mother... They, were from, they were from the boys' wow. club, New York. So I, was, okay. I actually was friends with them. Uh-oh. And I, I swear, my friend Jamoki. Uh, he, that's the name for real. Jamoki Mendez. Yeah. Oh my shit. friend Kwaku. Was, yeah, I come swear, on. I swear. <laughs> yeah. no, These people are really Come black. on, man. No, I, 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 he's, coming out, really he's coming out with only the blackest names ever. Like, you never... <laughs> I swear. Like, he's, like, just the blackest name you I ever... I swear. <laughs> he making shit up, man. Come on, man. No, I was. So you just happen to know two of the, no, the person with two of the blackest names I ever heard? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. no, 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 no. <laughs> the blackest people on the earth. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's happened to be your friend. That's you the two of the blackest names ever that I've heard. <laughs> I swear. Oh, my friend Jamoki. 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 Yeah, Jamoki is Jamoki. my friend. Jamoki. He's a really good friend of mine. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to Jamoki sounds then, super fucking then, made then, up. Then we had a little bit of falling out. But. Yeah, Jamoki do sound native. Yeah, he kept asking it me. Does, right? And then in his last no, name, man. No, <laughs> I swear. I got a good friend, uh, Pius. <laughs> I knew from Pius, who's from, he's straight from Africa too. Like, Pius speaks yeah. the dialect and everything, dude. Like, to his kids. I was like, what the fuck? Like, wow. I had no idea what. No, no, I, I did have a, my, my friend Perry. I, I had a lot of black friends in high school, actually. What, I, what I, was the other dude's name you said? Uh, Jaboki Kwaku. 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 That's, not, Kwaku. What That's he, not what he said. He said Kwaku. Kwaku. That's the name. Kwaku. Kwaku. Golly, yeah. man. That's kind of a cool name. <laughs> it is Kwaku. Yeah. yeah, no, I did. I actually, I did have a lot of black friends. Not a lot, but enough. I, I don't know. He's had enough. Uh, <laughs> he's had enough. Uh, and then, and then I know. Enough. Enough. I had enough. I, 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 I had enough. I had enough. And then I was on the, actually in college. I was on the, I was on the black dance team in college. I think you think about every black experience. That I don't, don't count. No, you have you ever had a black yes. friend that you like that? Like, have you had a black person sleep over at your house? Yeah, have you had a slumber party <laughs> with a black friend? Uh, that uh, yeah, Jamoki used to sleep over. <laughs> 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 hey, if you never had a black person sleep over at your house, then you don't got no black friends, man. Yeah, Jamoki yo, used to sleep over. yo, Jamoki, when was that? Like in seventh grade? His, his parents it was were last year. Yeah, that, Jamoki, come on. Uh, Damn! Oh shit! Yo, he's never had a black person sleep over. <laughs> yo, I was just sleep over his house. No, we, 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 we had a housekeeper. House, man. We had a housekeeper that slept there. That's crazy, man. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> but he's my fucking. It's so fucked up. That might get your ass whipped, man. <laughs> <laughs> Listener discretion advice. This motherfucker, man. We did have a housekeeper, Sylvia. Oh, fuck. And, um, yeah, he's never had a black person sleep. That was a friend sleep over his that's house. That's not true. I've had. I that's have fucking two. crazy. His whole. His, have, his whole. Got him drunk too. His they whole entire. That. His whole entire life. That's not even true. You're just making shit up. I. I did. I had Jamoki slept over all the time. That's Actually. what I'm saying. You need, you um, need. But how many, how many, how many black club. friends would he have? No, to have? no. We used to go to this nightclub. They had a basketball court, and I would bet that Jamoki could beat whoever how many, was. And then I would split the money with him. It it, it depends. It depends on his his range. Like if he if he was a his comedian, range. yeah. Like if he was a comedian who really never told black jokes, who was never like like you know what I'm saying. Like if he was like a, a what is it the um, the hillbilly kind not. You know the the, the ones that's like oh, the blue collar tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he was one of those, he was he was like one of those comedians. Then you'd be like, yeah, you wouldn't expect him to ever have no fucking black friends, right? You'd be yeah, surprised. Yeah, yeah. Like that'd be that'd be. But he tip <laughs> he tippy toes that line. Like he like he like he like he I say some tour, shit. Man. You know what I'm saying? He's like, okay. You're my friend. I'm gonna get. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna help you with your black experience. So then you know, like, like There's what no you can say. And what you can't. So what we're gonna do is a first is a first. Okay. 
rule to help you is we're going to go to it like a lot of black shit together. Oh, great. Like just me and you and you be the only fucking white person there. I love and it. Then, and then we got, and then you got it because you got to learn. No, we'll go you got to learn to call. We'll have a Tyler Perry marathon. <laughs> she the most, the most awkward white person you've ever seen in your life. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to do some, we're going to do some black people shit. Yeah. And we're going to, and we're going to see how, you know, help him with his black experience so he understands, you know, because he, he doesn't yeah. know. You know what, too? Someone, I, I actually uh, saw a video of something like that. It was it was actually about race, and it was this guy saying how how even people that say they aren't racist are racist because there's very few people that will hang out with, like, all black people, you know what I mean? Like, I they don't will. know many, many people that will, you know what I mean? Like, hell a lot yeah, of people man. are uncomfortable, and I don't know why. Like, I'm me personally, like, I have, I have friends like that where I have, like, groups of black friends, and I hang out with them, you know what I mean? It's, like, it's cool. Like, I have a good time, but I have a good time with anyone, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter. But I think that's kind of funny. Hey, if 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 Adam, if Adam was around, oh my gosh, he'd be so full, so fucking uncomfortable, <laughs> no, bro. Yo, never first first of all, first of all, he's first of all, first of all, Adam. Listen, Adam has like Adam. Adam has like the, the worst social anxiety. Like if he gets too many people, then he starts like fucking looking around like somebody. Like he, he starts look. Everyone, yo, he like start, yo, he start, yo, he starts. Yo, he starts. Yo, he looking around yeah, like. I was on a TV show saying. with uh, Michael Blackson and DJ. Okay, but uh, but I'm saying though, you get anxiety. You get anxiety. Yeah, so if they were black and then you, you then they do like all oh, that way more comfortable. Get the <laughs> fuck I out of here! The cops came you know what? Me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know what? Yeah. You know what? We going. I'm down. Let's go. We're going. We, we're going. Uh, we're going to uh, do yeah. some cool. We are going. We gotta do some. We got We gotta I'm find in. something. Oh man. We gotta I'm find in. something First to one. do. And we'll, we'll do is we'll find some chubby white girls. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> see, see, this, see, this is this. This would be the first that. This would be the first. Like he, he got a, like the timing of a joke like that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That shit is kind of funny though. You know, some kind of a little quick little funny story too is when I was in uh, New York, <clears throat> I was I was making my friends uncomfortable because <clears throat> we went to. Okay, so out there, everything closes at two. No one. There's no parties, no bars, no nothing after two. Like that place shuts down. Yeah. So, supposedly there's a they they does whatever I want to say. They call it a BB store. I call it the same shit, but it's this guy encountering. You could hustle this guy. You could pay this guy. And he'll sell you some beer. So we go to the store. I'm sitting there, and this guy's being all suspect that I'm with. But he's like, I can get this guy to sell some beer. So whatever. He's doing this thing. I see this car pull up, and it's this dude. It's this black dude. And he looks like I'm like I'm like he looked kind of suspect. You know what I mean? He's back there. It's all dark. His windows are tinted. It's like rolled up, and I see just like. And like a smoke or something, you know what I mean, going up. And then I see this other car pull up, and it's a two two dudes and then two chicks. Um, they're all they're all black. So then I see the dude roll his window down, and he's like smoking. So I was like, oh shit, is that guy smoking? I'm like damn. And I was like, Phoenix was right after the fight. So I was like, oh. <laughs> oh, your friend's been in the bathroom. Oh my before. god, are you fucking minutes, serious? Dude. I hope he's okay, dude. <laughs> Seriously, all right, I'm not making any comments right now because it's gonna be. <laughs> Hey, it's gonna hey, be, when I'm it goes out, let's just awkwardly stare. Let's just awkwardly stare. I'm not saying anything, bro. I'm not making it's any comments. I'm it's saying absolutely nothing. Right. No, no, my no, white no, people no. friends are the exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's totally normal for somebody to move into the bathroom. That's like, oh my God. that's totally normal. That's that happens yeah, all the time. Yeah. The bogeys, you know. Man, I'm take a shit, no, no, not, of course not, man. That was a that was a seven hour piss. That's all we smelled. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, yo, man, come on, man. My man ain't getting down like that in your bathroom. I mean, I mean, we did, we did eat In and Out Burger, but he, ain't, he ain't, stomach's gonna be fucking up like that. I would have went downstairs better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's totally normal. <laughs> Jamoki used to do that when he came out. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey. He said, yeah, he, oh his, his one, yeah, you know, Jamoki, believe, Jamoki, Jamoki, is his I one black like, friend. I totally believe you, but he said, he said, he said, no, no, I had friends in high school. He said, I had no friends who were black in high school. That's he not said, true. I said, I, I said, he can't tell the jokes he said. I love friends from Harlem. I said, he can't tell the jokes he'd say because he has no black experience, so he don't know what joke that he typically told that line. And I said, he got he don't have any black friends to say that like you understand what to say when you know black people you know yeah. but he don't got that and, I all, and then he then he's then i said then he was telling me who he grew up with he said in high school that i have any black people friends and i said yes actually a lot and then my friend jamoki was one of them kwaku right. and then he thought neither I was, one of them were at his birthday party for, but, but, but two of the blackest names how how how, how yeah. to how two of the blackest <laughs> names you ever heard my other friends in bob so, no, 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 no so he, he was saying that i i was like i did 
Those guys, no, the Zimbabwe I made up. But but the first the first two, I just they have their names. Their names are Jamoki and Kwaku. Uh, listen, people. Uh, I never have. I almost did though. You never, you never saw with the black girl? No, I almost did. Oh, you got it. It's a good time. Why is that the subject? You know what I'm saying? No, he asked if I had black people sleep over, and I, and I said. Yeah, now, now we have a subject to see with black girls. No, we're, 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 because we're talking about bringing him or like bringing him around like all black dudes. No, what, what, I, what, what I said, what, what I said, we're gonna do. I said, I said he's got to get his black experience up. I said, so what we're gonna do is. We're going to do some black shit together. So we're going to go to a place where it's all black people. We can go to the fucking supper club. I'm down. You ain't ready to go to supper. That, that, that's a whole other reality show. You know what I'm saying? Yo, but... I, it, 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 yo, yo, yo. I do, I do so Tim many black... I do so many shows with oh, black audiences. But, Right. But you got it. But you got to get the black experience. You got to understand what it's like because he get weird in social situations. Oh, it's okay. Thank God. He, you get you get weird you get weird in, you get weird in social situations. And if they are black and you just like oh shit, you like fuck, you gonna feel awkward as hell, man. No, I'm gonna like it. First of all, I get the fuck I like out of here, man. I like people. I don't even I don't care if you're black, if you're white, if you I don't give a fuck. If you're a nice person and you're cool, that's all I care about. Yeah. But honest to God, truth. It doesn't matter. If you're a nice person, it regardless I feel of you. I know, I know. But actually, the people who helped me the most in my career have been black people. Like, put me on most TV shows. And they most haven't been of, to your house? Well, I don't, I don't know where they I live. They helped you. <laughs> 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 oh my God. <laughs> but, but the people that have helped me the most in my career have hands down been black people. Oh my gosh. And, and oh that's why when God. I have comedy shows, like I, so I book w- whether black, white, female, Indian, gay, it doesn't make transgender, it doesn't matter. If they're funny, they're funny. I don't go fun. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I mean, for real. That's the that's down country. But, is- but it's just, but, but I like making funny jokes. So when I say things like, I don't want them to know where I live, I know it's going to elicit a fucking laugh. Oh, no, no, and that's why I say no. <laughs> like, it. Not because I really don't want them to know. I don't care if they know where I live. I have nothing to steal. Right. You no, know? I mean, you're very they're, they're, they're a lot, that's, they're that's, a lot richer than me. Most of my black friends are a lot better than I am. I've been in your house. I, I got a new house. Much oh, better. you did? Yeah, oh, nice. shit. <laughs> that's, why, that's why I got to know. Wait, wait. The old house was, in that, was a horrible neighborhood. I didn't want to yeah. say nothing, but uh, yeah. I, w- I wasn't going to say that. Yeah, but no, I'm not going to say he, he was living in the hood. Yeah, of course. Yeah, but I didn't even know it was the hood. Like, what you mean you didn't know it was the hood? Know, man, come on. Hey, hey. I've so many shitholes in my life. Hey, I rolled, I rolled up shithole. to this shit, and I'm just like, I was like, God damn. I was like, Adam living like this, man? I'm like, Because you don't realize places are shitholes if that's all you, like. God damn. But I'm not judging, but I'm not judging, man. That's, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people... No, it's, it's, a, it's a struggle, man. It's a struggle. But I don't understand how you didn't know it was the hood, though. Because I've been to the real hood. Like, I've been to a lot worse places than that. And, like, that, those are, like, some fucking... Like, those are places where, like, you get... I get nervous, you know? Like, I mean, you walk around, like, certain places of, like, like, Watts or, like, back old New York. Like, old New York. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you walk around, like, like, Long Island, but then I lived in Manhattan for a while. But I think I used to go uptown, I like like that. That then you get a little nervous, but especially when I have my Confederate flag shirt on. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, listen. Yeah, that's Vince. fucking. That's crazy, man. What do you got? So Vince, who do you, who do you, who do you, who do you want to fight next? I don't know. I want to fight someone exciting. Um, I actually did a MMA junkie uh, thing today, and George asked me the same thing. And I want to fight someone exciting. He actually uh, said he really liked uh, your show. Oh, that's nice. on too. Um, but I don't know. I want to fight someone exciting. You know what I mean? I want to have a good, exciting fight. Like I want to fight like a Gainchi or or a Poirier or an Alvarez. You know what I mean? Someone's gonna put on a show. Not that like I don't want to fight like anyone else who's tough. You know what I mean? But I want to put on a show. Like <clears throat> I don't know. I just felt like this last fight. Like I want. I was. I wanted to go out there and put on a show. Like you know what I mean? Like yeah. I, didn't, I honestly really didn't care where I lose. I just wanted to put on a, a fight. You know what I mean? He didn't come to fight. He came to just. He came to just win. So he did what he had to do. But I want to put on a show for the fans. You know what I mean? Like I don't know. I just. I just want to like go out there and just put on a fucking dope ass show. I don't really care who it is, and and as long as it's someone like that who's gonna who's willing to do that. You know what I mean? Got it. Which I don't know. Hopefully someone is, but I doubt it. Well, listen, people. Uh, next week, I'm at the Ventura Harbor Comedy Festival. Uh, I mean, Comedy Club. Uh, next weekend, 
uh, next Friday and Saturday. I think it's the 14th and 15th. And then um, I'm in South Carolina at the Com Carolina Comedy Club, the 18th through the 21st. Then I got into the Montreal Comedy Festival. That's at the end of uh, July. Then I'm taking the month off of, April, of August so I can be with my new baby. And then uh, September, oh, I'm at the, yay, you got uh, a clip. the uh, Blue Room Comedy Club in St. Louis as well as Rochester, New York with Jeremy Piven, September 22nd and 23rd, going to Rochester uh, at the Carson Comedy Club. And yeah, Seneca, right? Jeremy is doing a Seneca Niagara Casino on September 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too? Yeah, okay. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. So, um, uh, Rashad, anything you want to promote? Nope. Nice. No promotion. No promotion. No new movie, Rockstar? Nah. Well, thank you for being a guest, Rashad. I love you, man. Big fan. Thank you, like brother. If, if we went to high school together, you could sleep over all the time. Oh, uh, shit. I, 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 I could you, could, you could be the one that slept over. <laughs> and uh, thank you, Vince, as well. And thank, thank you. What's your name again? Kenny. Thank you, Kenny, uh, as well as, as uh, Stephanie. Oh my God! He remembered my name. Stephanie, <laughs> who's Vince's side chick. She, she was talking, <laughs> hey, she was talking shit. Yeah, she yeah. was talking shit over. She's like, "Motherfucking hell!" I'm like, "Can you don't even remember my fucking name?" <laughs> All I, night last night. I'm yeah, sorry about that. That's okay. He wasn't even drunk either. Yeah, I know. I just, I just, you know, Vince has had so many of them. But, 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 but I'm not a side chick. I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. I, he never gets pussy. Okay, listen. So, <laughs> uh, he's horrible. He's horrible I'm around women. sometimes, but. Uh, but listen. Thank you guys uh, for the <laughs> listening to the podcast. Take care. Oh, have a great week. Trap, Sonson, 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 Trap, Sonson,